Nice. Preliminary final underway in William Buck Premier Division and up they go. William's got his hand onto it first. Hayes drops the footy, kick off the ground by Young, a ricochet off McMahon. Once again, Hilton lays the tackle rather crudely as he's given away a free kick to Cameron he has. They've opened up a bit like that, Collegians. There's a 25, 25, yeah, 25 it's a lot of niggle going on in the, in the back line of Collegians. So on, with on the breeze opponents. in his back into the first minute of the game, Fraser Cameron for Uni Blues goes towards a Taylor lead. Oh, he had it fisted away there in the end. Collegians now have it through Tardiff. He works it out of defence. He goes out yeah, wider here yeah. and the mark has been taken. And he was collected Hugh on the way through. Apted quickly over there. Trotter, that is, getting up. He gets the free kick or the mark, whatever it was. Worse for wear. And at half back, Jake's a little bit groggy. Takes his time in getting up into the first two minutes. Handballs off to Johnson. He gets down on haunches oh. again there. Trotter or oh, Ross Young. Yeah, no, where he is him. actually. Trotter no. is, is in. Young has the footy here for University Blues. Beach Road yeah, side of the ground. He's no good. He no. goes back to Trotter. He really couldn't put two arms up there. No. Faye fisted it out. They go in after it again. Cam Zimbark. Certainly the DLR fraternity wouldn't be displeased about that. <laughs> so Zimbark ends up with the first free kick down in defence. He gave it off to Faye, who comes across the face of goal dangerously. Commentary end. He goes up towards half back, but Taylor. Will take the mark. Faye's go. been dropped after the ball. Quinn must have been the recipient. Free kick going Collegians' way. Oh, already, already there's, a, there's a, that, that's discipline from Quinn. So Jenkinson's kick along the wing, it held up a little bit, smack down there. Reading it nicely on that occasion was uh, Flanagan doing some tidy up work. And this time, Uni Blues bring the ball across the ground. Up towards their half forward, but Johnson's back there. <laughs> Umpire's played a free kick, but Johnson's played it on there. Up further afield and found his teammate there in Fraser Cameron. A free kick against Collegians here, I think. There's lots of stuff happening off the in. ball, John. Well, Trotter, what's going on? Trotter got put down after he got rid of the ball, I think. And uh, then the Collegians boys came in and, and had a go rightly at uh, Gapen, but this they went a bit far and the umpire saw it. This is Gapen, who's going to go in short and find uh, Riley McMahon. McMahon just uh, filled the space and certainly well within scoring position. The, the lines here, uh, boys, are we talking about a 40, oh, 50. 50. 45 or 50? Ah, 50 here, We're here. talking a true 50. Yeah. Good. Thanking you. So he steps over 50 now. He'll kick it from about 44 metres. Easily made the distance, but he's just pulled it to the left a little. Through for one behind. The first on the six degrees executive recruitment scoreboard and we've gone five minutes in the opening term thanks to Sky High Man Denon. So we need some scoreboard attendance over in the scoreboard to We're going home by the yeah. look of a There's no one there. <laughs> it's too late. The keeper score ourselves. Meshi goes towards Beach Road side of the ground. Fist away by Lappin towards the boundary line. Away uh, from Penberthy and we'll have a ball in. After the 5.45 finish yesterday they said I'll blow this and I'm doing it again today. <laughs> so there they go. They're no actually making the their way up into there, there now. Up the ladder. So they're not running too far behind. Thrown in, Beach Road side of the ground, University Blues end of the ground, 60 out from their goal. Penberthy held on to by the jumper by Williams, up I didn't see that ripping. Wearing 93 for the time being, got it out Tardiff there, brought it around by Summers. He went straight to the boundary line, they're looking for deliberate Uni Blues. The umpire won't have any of that, we'll have a ball in out of side of the ground. So into the first four minutes of the game. Uni Blues one behind, Collegians yet to score. Uni Blues kicking to the Yacht Club in, favoured around by a four to six goal breeze, you would imagine, in this first quarter. Thrown back in again, Penberthy got it down somehow. He found Mishy around the body, a smothered kick off the boot. It bounces over everybody. Now it favours Collegians, they run through the middle. Cassidy on the end of the handball, goes to centre half forward. Mark Singleton. taken, Singleton, he got the handball out. Now a chance here for Collegians, a long way from home. They go back into the middle of the ground, and Mark has been taken. And a handball to Apted. Johnson to Apted, he goes out wider here. Mark taken by Dixon in front of the scoreboard for Collegians. Bad bounce there for Mish, he couldn't trap it. He then trapped his man, he brought him to ground. The ball went over the line out of play. Up until then, that was a very impressive Yeah, it was a kick away play. from being a great bit of, a great bit of connection yeah. through the middle part of the ground there. And we'll have a ball in 
scoreboard side. They've gone just on five minutes in this first term. So back into play now. Hands to it first on that occasion, Penberthy. Into another contest. This one, this time the quick kick out uh, by uh, Collegians up by Tardiff, but the marks taken there in defence for University Blues. They go in short. Look for and find uh, Ede. That was after the kick from Flanagan. Ede's uh, right foot kick. This time long along the wind position. Hey. Off the hands of Faye, who dropped what he perhaps uh, could have taken on that occasion. They go in short looking for Mark James. It was in a nice little nice bit of a space there. there wasn't it? Yeah, and great lead by um, James to push back and then hit back up towards the ball carrier. They're always hard to defend as a as a key backman. But um, uh, and great finish by, uh, by Harper there. So a big opportunity for Mark James to put the first goal on the board. I think we've ticked over just over seven minutes in this opening term. Thanks to Sky High Mount Daninong. So James, no problems with the distance you'd think. He'll kick it from about 35 metres out and puts it straight over the goal umpire's head for full points. And on the six degrees executive recruitment scoreboard, University Blues now 1-1-7, leading collegians who are yet to score. And that's also thanks to Sky High Mount Daninong. Well, yeah, good bit of play. Good transitional play down the, from the back half. Yeah. Yep, good to see um, E come through the middle of the ground. Um, uh, uh, the collegiate player, uh, I forgot their name, uh, who, who it was, but dropped Faye. that mark. Faye. Faye. Yeah, Faye. Yeah, Faye. yeah, yeah. He had probably should have taken up. that. And, um, and then Harper was good enough to capitalise a bit of good composure. So throwing back up again in the middle of the ground, Penberthy Williams, they'll go Williams. at it all day virtually. Williams gets a short kick, goes through the arms of Johnson, bending down to Young. For Uni Blue, shot the handball out. They come out to meet it, Banarillo. Well. Spins around, goes long to full forward. It bounces, but it bounces the wrong way. It misses everything and goes out of play. We'll have a ball in deep in the left forward, right forward pocket. For University Blues, attacking with the breeze in this first term to the Yacht Club in. They are playing with some urgency, I think, aren't they? They're, they're really worried about getting it in rather than looking stylish and keeping possession. Let's just get it in. So about to be thrown back in. Williams front berth, Penberthy. Oh, Gape in front berth, Penberthy there as well. Handball came to Faye towards the boundary line. He sees it over. We'll have another ball in. So 1-1-7 Blues. Collegians yet to score. But down at the Blues end, the Yacht Club end. They're favoured by a four to six goal breeze in this first term. Not far out for them to score. Again, Gapen and Penberthy will go this contest as it comes back in. Held up slightly in the breeze. Gapen fell over. Penberthy over him. Quinn head over the footy. Couldn't reel it in. Now Banarillo tried to work it through with a short kick. Jenkinson a handball out of danger. No young there. But he's well tackled. Brought to ground. And we'll have a ball up 40. Oh no, not even that out from goal. About 35 out from Blues goal. Blues have set up really well behind the ball here with this inside 50 stoppage. So if it does come out, they should have it covered. Cassidy just grits his teeth and tries to get out of there, but he can't. And once again, another ball up. Around the grounds, thanks to Sky High Main Denong. Pran Assumption 6 4 40 leading West Brunswick, one behind. And Caulfield 3 2 20 leading Marsland, 1 4 10. Same result there. Cassidy again gritting his teeth, but he can't break a tackle. They're, they're doing quite well games. collisions. So another restart here with Penberthy and Gapen, who's uh, doing the relieving ruck work. Didn't go, but he took the roving commission. Then into a wrestle for the football. This is going nowhere. And again, the field umpires got no real I get, option. I get the feeling that uh, Mugovan is doing a, a tagging job. Jeremy Mugovan mm. on... Uh, Hibbins. So running onto it, uh, Rippon uh, couldn't get it, the number 93, but the ball's kicked out of bounds on the full there by University Blues. So there'll be a relieving kick here for Collegians through the agency of Lindsay Apted. He's on the bay or, if you like, commentary grandstand side of the ground, kicking up towards uh, between half back and centre wing. Ball just holding up a lovely mark taken there by Penberthy. Oh, that, that, that would have gladdened Kenny's heart. He loved yeah. his favourites there. <laughs> the big uh, man oh, with the left foot, but he, that was an absolute shot and, on the and, kick. And in honour of the man, he's put it up <laughs> in that coaching box that we coached from last year in the state game. He's hit the roof of the coaching box. This uh, one's for you, Kenny, and he set sail for yeah. uh, <laughs> the Ken Petruco commentary box over there. So Piers Flanagan takes the relieving free kick, kick, but they turn it over. It's a shocker. 
an opportunity there for Lockie Ferguson, uh, able to get his hands on the football. Got it to his teammate there in Corey Cassidy. Up towards half forward, but Uni Blues able to uh, defend, bring the ball up towards centering. Batterillo couldn't take it. Roving down there was tackled. James. He got tackled, well held up. The Cassidy. football eventually smothered over the battery line and out of bounds there by Riley McMahon. James was out then, and he's, you know, he's got Ryan some pace on him, and he's strong, but he... Uh, a really good ca- uh, tackle there from Corey Cassidy. So we're just over 11 minutes into the opening term, thanks to Sky High man Danny Nong on the Six Degrees Executive Recruitment Scoreboard. University Blues leading by seven points. Ryan Eads in there, I think, at the bottom of that pack. And that wasn't going anywhere. So the field umpire said, give it to me, boys. Asking for uh, a couple of blokes to put their hands in the air. And uh, Matthew Singleton does say for uh, Collegians, he got beaten on that occasion. They flip it over the back there, Uni Blues. Now driving it in towards their half-forward position. Ball bouncing loose. Jenkinson's back there, but he got pinged in a tackle there by Geppen, who the umpire said illegally went into his back. And the free kick, or in fact handball, to Cassidy, who then kicks it across half-back. The long kick there by Faye, out of side of the ground. Beach side road. Beach road side, I can say. Mitchie was in there. Got the handball back to uh, Hugh Johnson. His kick along centre wing. Thumped over the boundary line beneath the scoreboard. It's the first quarter six degrees executive recruitment scoreboard showing Uni Blues 117 leading Collegians. Yet to score. And they've defended well, Collegians. No, they've defended it's... exceptionally well. The game hasn't quite got its rhythm yet, so no. it's still, you'll, you'll probably see a lot of these stoppages and. and um, and you know, close and tight sort of contests until the until one of these two sides breaks a little bit and we can open up the game. But well, like, chime there too. Cam boundary umpires just thrown that back in. Williams got it down somehow. Summers ends up with a handball. Now they come forward again. Blues Dale he, he ended up with it. He goes down towards Taylor Real Mark. 70 out from goal. He turns around quickly. They lead to the pocket. He goes in that direction. Good strong lead, but through the arms of Gaben, it comes out the back. And the umpire may have seen that little shove by Johnson, but he let it go. And we'll have a ball in. Good, strong attack of the footy, but straight through him. So we'll have a ball thrown back in inside the 50-metre arc here for the Blues. Not far out from, from goal. Bencraft, grandstand side of the ground. Back in it comes Singleton, double fisted it down. He found Hibbins, who clears the ball towards centre wing. Up they go, fell to Croft. Wants to get rid of it. Oh, he heard the call outside. He went for Waterman. He was there, now he wasn't. It ended up with Lappin. Handball came back. Uni Blues in defence. Dale Hinkley. A handball. McMahon in trouble. Lost the footy. Goes in after it again. Waterman there in support. Now it came out again. Summers there wrestling his own man for the footy. Flanagan ended up with it. A wobbly kick off the boot. Goes oh. towards the centre half forward area. Pick up there by Cry- by Evans. He finds Johnson, who works for Collegians, but straight to Gapen, who goes to James. Hey. He hasn't been paid the mark, but the interference was there. Faye getting some attention to here, but James to go back, and Johnny felt every bit of that. Very solid footage. Well, I think well taken the mark. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He could see it coming. He stood his ground. Faye gave it everything that he had, but it's not going to stop James from getting up and having a shot. So he's already kicked the first one, Simon. Correct, he's kicked one. So he's on the Bencraft grandstand side of the ground. F- shaded by the breeze here. Faye stands the mark. He divots the ground with his boot. James a left uh, right footer puts it on its way. He split the middle and kicks their second. Blues go on to 2-1, 13 collegians yet to score. James has got both of those. We've gone just on 13 minutes in this first quarter. An unlikely uh, set shot goal kick to open up proceedings for the Blues, but uh, he stood his ground there. I, I mean, I do feel he probably should have been a 25 anyway, but uh, anyway, he, he did well and uh, a great a great bit of play and intercept there by Gapen. It was. He's actually been in the thick of it, um, Gapen, and it's an interesting battle with him and Will Johnson. We'll, uh, we'll see yeah. how that unfolds. They're, uh, they're certainly experienced not. experienced players. Yeah, and going at each other, so... Um, Back in the centre of the round, Penbrithy and Williams. This time Williams got the hand of the football for uh, Uni Blues, but uh, Collegians is able to clear it out of the centre square. Up towards half forward, but some good defensive work there for Uni Blues. Ball bouncing. Uh, pass it away, and Gapen got the handball back. 
and the ball kicked along the boundary line and out of bounds. And the umpire Ooh. said, no, that was not deliberate. Probably a bit lucky there. Everyone was appealing. It was a bit like cricket season. And uh, the umpire said, no, throw it back in. So Blues are probably being a bit more decisive at the moment, John, yeah. than Collegians. Yeah. And that's probably aided by well, the breeze. Yeah, yeah, maybe. 16 minutes just over halfway through this first term on uh, preliminary final day. In the front position, Williams got the handball, uh, got the hand to it, I should say. Pretty they're, solid they're also, stuff there. Wrapped up in a tackle was Evans, and the umpire said, give it to me again. A lot of country boys that aren't really, strong country kids that aren't really uh, put out by the, the game tactics. So, so the re kick. restart, sure. not uh, paid on that occasion. Yeah, the Pat Murphy rightly going the umpire, and the David free Hooper. Free kick will no, go back to, to Dominic Russo. Russo. I thought Penberthy deserved the free there. Yep, I'm with you, John. Umpires didn't call it, but uh, Russo with the high ball just stands up in the breeze. It's taking on the tackler there, Uni Blues, on that occasion. Not high. And that was uh, Ross Young giving the ball back to the field umpire. Puts the ball in the air. Ryan Eads in there. He can't. He gets the handball clear. Eventually, Cam Williams gets it across. And then they hack it forward. Uni Blues deep into attack. Inside their forward 50. Beneath the grandstand here. Tom Quinn leading in the race for the football, but can't keep it in the field of play. How good was Zimbax in that marking contest? He was sort of almost nose out of position, but he stood his ground and just got that fist in on, on Quinn there. He sure did. Had it in the right spot just at the right time. And affected that Quinn couldn't get a hand onto it. Thrown and back in. About 25 out from Blue's goal. They lead 13 to 0. They're kicking with the breeze. The Yacht Club in. Oh, gape and double fist. Oh, charging oh. through McMahon. Nearly met someone. Waterman. There, oh, he fumbled it. Oh, he was close to the boundary line. They saw that. They'll work on that with him. Mishy saw it over. Waterman just giving Kieran Harper a pat on the head and the derriere. Oh, it's That's not going to help you. As Just uh, quickly around the grounds, boys. Caulfield Grammarians, uh, Johnny. 4 4 28, now leading Marcelin 1 4 10. That's and incredible. That, that was 10 metres back around the boundary. Yes. Yeah, Harper's pointing it out. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Blood rule 2. Zimbark's coming off the ground. And in Division 2, Perrin Assumption 6 4 40. Well in front of West Brunswick, who are just two behinds, two points. He's crept round right in front of us, this man. Yeah, it happened, happened over there, that's what it I said. It happened down by the, uh, where the staircase well, he, is. He gets the ball back roughly. Thrown in the air, Penberthy to Gapen, who tried to wrench it out. He did, oh, Quinn head over the footy. That was tough. Handball through, Gapen missed it. Now a good pick up, Faye. He had to do that. Cunningham had opened the door for him. He goes to ground. Cameron there with him. Cunningham won't give it up. Did you see how clever Gapen was there in yeah. that run contest? He didn't even compete. He just roved off Penberthy's hit. So he does that in marking contests as well. He's such a unique player. Outside 50 for Uni Blues. Younger handball. Oh, there's on first time today. A kick high up and under. It goes towards centre wing for Collegians. Singleton has it. He got it now to Waterman. Will it bounce up at well? He now has to trap it and shot on the goal. Oh. And he misses. First score has taken Collegians nearly 20 minutes. They've scored their first behind. They go into one behind, a one point. For Uni which? Blues on 2 1 13. 20 minutes gone, first term. It's a first time near goal, and uh, I mean, he really should have kicked that goal, but that, that's how strong their defence has been, keeping the Blues out until now. So they kick it in longs, but it was straight to Apted, who smacked it back uh, for Collegians. Doing some good follow up work there. Muggerman was able to spin around, bring the ball back inside uh, the centre square there. Just forward of centre for them, but Hugh Johnson, he's doing some good work back there for Collegians. Goes in short and finds his teammate further afield in Michi. So Viv Michi, out of side of the round, takes uh, a bounce and then get going with the low ball Beautiful up towards kick. half forward. Uh. It was a good kick, but his teammate had fallen to ground. I think that was Waterman. He'd gone to ground and Uni Blues able to defend. Bring the ball in long over centre wing. Quinn's going after it there. He slapped it forward, then followed with a little toe poke off the ground. That was nice work there from Tom Quinn. Gapen couldn't keep his feet, but running through there and strolling into the open goal was uh, Batterillo. But I reckon uh, Gapen Tom, again. Tom, Tom Quinn and, and Gapen did some great work to open up the door there for Dan Batterillo to put his first on the board. And that's their third. So University Blues now 3-1-19 has stretched out to an 18-point lead over Collegians, one behind one point. 
That is on the six degrees executive recruitment scoreboard. And thanks to Sky High man Danny Nong, we've ticked over 20 minutes in the opening term. The Blues are just at the moment are just getting it at the contest, you know, in front position and, and building their momentum from there. The, the, obviously, the wind helps, but it doesn't really help when it's around the contest. So they're probably just pipping collegians at the moment in that in that area. Yeah, confidence is up. That is for sure and certain. They've kicked three into about a four to six goal breeze. With a four to six goal breeze, Jeremy Muggerman, a good handball. He goes in short now. That was battle reload. Ha ha. He mustn't have played well, actually, it was ten too minutes. far. Ten minutes. Yeah, he, he called play on straight away. And we'll have a ball up inside the 50 metre arc here for Blues again, doing all of the attacking in this first term. Hardly seen any of Collegians. Ball back down, Hayes around the body, goes to full bounce. forward, it bounces! It's a goal. Oh. Oh, no. hit, it hit, his, hit his leg on the way through. And fortuitously for Collegians, it was touched on the way through. 3 2 20 the Blues. One behind a one point Collegians. We've gone just on 22 minutes in this first term for Sky High and Six Degrees Executive Recruitment. So Will Johnson going with the long ball. Has it stayed in the field of play? Uh, Uni Blues are saying, no, this has gone out of bounds on the full. And it has. And the free kick back there to Dale Hinckley. So Hinckley now swings around on the right boot, looking for a turnover. But he's kicked it straight to Viv Mitchie, so I don't know who he was looking for in the end. A bit of a shocker of a kick. I didn't mind the idea of the kick. It was going yeah. to the right spot. He just who dropped too? it badly. That's it. Not a, not a flash kick at the end of the day, John. And Kenny Ong, who's only featured, I think, once. Uh, first time I've called him this afternoon. He started he's, slow last week, but worked his way into it. Well, he's deep in the back pocket. Goes with the high ball and taking the mark there. Penberthy, again, Ken would love that. The big man taking the mark. Got the handball off. And this time, Collegians working the ball around uh, up towards half forward. Waterman couldn't take it. But he went back in after it. Couldn't get a handle on it. This time going in, wrapped up in a tackle. Couldn't get a, a clear possession, Waterman. And again, another pack of players. That's free to blues. Said, yeah, it is a free kick. Perhaps some higher tension. And Ryan, it looks like Ryan Eade's going to get up to take the resultant free kick. Camp, do you know anything about Waterman? Where he's from? He's I don't from. know where he's from, no. 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 So, so yeah. he takes the free kick. He finds McMahon on the outer. Townley it is, is it? On the outer side of the ground. He goes left foot up towards Taylor. Beautiful and Taylor kick. takes the mark at half forward. Beach Road side of the ground. He looks to square it up. No, he goes to the pocket to gape and went over his head though. Goes towards the boundary line and will have a ball in. So down at the off club end of the ground. That's the end in which your Blues are uh, kicking. The wind's blowing. About a four to six goal breeze, as we've said. They've kicked three into it, or three with it. You know, they, they really, really need five, don't they, I reckon? Yep, thrown back in. Penberth, he got it down. Young there. No, he grabbed it. He put it onto his boot. He goes to fall forward. It bounces away from everything and goes out of play. So just a bad bounce there for Ross and Uni Blues. It bounced away from the goal. It goes out of play. We'll have another ball in. Seen plenty of these down this end of the ground in this quarter so far that's gone just on 24 minutes. Thrown back in again. Close to goal for Blues. Gapen and Pemberthy were wrestling each other. Apted ends up with it. High up and under kick. And it goes to Summers. Oh, one-handed. He's taken it. He just stood there. Had a look. Did not hardly move. Put out the arm and reeled it in. So Pete Summers directly in front of goal. Yes. For their fourth of the afternoon, puts it on its way, makes no mistake. Summers kicks his first, Blues kick their fourth. They go into 4 2 26. Collegians on one behind, one point. That on the six degrees executive recruitment scoreboard for Sky High 25 gone in this first term. And Summers kicks his first of the day. It's a great individual effort there, a, a skied ball out from the Collegians' backline players. and. Uh, Pete Summers had to wait under it. Oh, yeah. He got, uh, but he was good enough to be able to keep his opponent out and just snavel it with one arm under his armpit. Class. So, Pembroke and uh, Williams again. Williams got the fingernail to it. Ryan Ede was in there. He uh, flipped the handball out, looking for his teammate coming through the other way. Couldn't get a handle on it. It was Summers on that occasion after kicking a nice goal. The football again in a pack of players with the field up fire. No option but to restart with a ball up. Tackling's been good by Uni Blues so far today. They're tackling in gangs, which is great. 
So Williams again seemed to get the better uh, uh, with their handle on it, but uh, Collegians able to get the kick forward deep into attack, but uh, taking a nice mark back there is Piers Flanagan for Uni Blues. Goes across the face, other, out of side of the ground. This time Uni Blues work it up to uh, Summers. Summers, who's still at half back. Oh, Summers' oh. kick was uh, a shocker because it was smothered, and uh, Tardis able to hook the ball around on the right boot. Deep in attack, across the face. And this time, Flanagan's able to get the kick and find it a clear teammate in Clayton Hinkley. So Hinkley just able to resettle them. After they just turned that football over at half back. Centre wing position. Williams wasn't able to get it. Hibbins, he's been uh, pretty quiet thus far. Got wrapped up in a tackle for Collegians. Trying to get them forward, and the umpire will have another restart. So we're deep uh, into this first term. 26 and a half minutes gone. Thanks to Sky High Mount Dandenong. The restart into another pack there. This time, can someone get a clear? Mark James, he's been prominent in this first quarter with two goals. We well, got the kick clear. That was a good piece of play. Zimbak's uh, defending well it. there for Collegians. He was all over his opponent there. The umpire didn't pay it. Hilton, who we haven't called yet. Wasn't able to get a handle on it. This time, Ede got the handball back. Found his teammate. He goes in short. Looking for Gapen. Over the back there, Faye knocked the ball away from him. Over the boundary line it. and out of bounds. So it's deep uh, in the tack for Uni Blues. Left uh, forward pocket on the Beach Road side of the ground. They're kicking up to the Sandringham Yacht Club. 27 minutes gone, so not long to play in this first term. They lead by 25 points. Back in a play there. Gapen and uh, Penberthy. Well, again, Gapen just watched his uh, opponent uh, take the hit out. And then this time, Penberthy got the handball from Russo with a scrambly kick. Couldn't get it clear. Riley McMahon's uh, position looked like a throw. So did Ong. There's a bit yeah. of uh, non-handball, non-kicking. But Ong tried to sink the slip into it. He missed it. Really scrappy, scrambly football. Desperate uh, well, from both teams. And then well. Croft spills in to take the mark. So Croft beats Road side of the ground, centre wing goes towards Townley in front and we couldn't bring that one down. The ball hit the deck then another gang tackle by two Blues on one Collegians and Singleton was the man underneath that he yeah, gave the ball out up. that far side doesn't it? Yeah. Some of the trees. Thrown in the air again, Penberthy Williams both got a hand onto that one. He'd head over the footy, goes in and under, tried to work it out. Ong at the back, he handled it. Penberthy standing still, goes towards the half forward area but Townley Backing back takes the mark in the last line. He goes back to Dale Hinkley oh, in oh. trouble. One way than the other, he goes to Flanagan. It drifted over his head, though. He's got time oh. to pick up and hit his bootlaces. Hot on the scene there was Johnson. Handball to Rippon. Handball along the ground. Batterillo back to Flanagan. Attack of the fumbles. Got through a trotter tackle. Handball back towards uh, Hinkley. Out of there. Now another tackle. Laid on trotter holding them up. He bought Uni Blues to ground. We'll have a ball up just outside the 50 metre arc for Collegians. Oh, good pressure from Collegians. Blues overhandling the ball there. They just needed to get it out of that uh, out of that area. Thrown in the air again. Dying stages term number one. Clayton Hinkley for Uni Blues into the middle. It bounces. Where will it go? Taylor's there in the middle. Held on to. He's got the footy now. The umpire says, give it to me. I'll ball it up. Good couple of minutes from playing Collegians. One. It's been a good couple of minutes from Collegians. I reckon. Absolutely. Blues had it, they, they snuffed out a couple of Blues opportunities and uh, they've gone forward themselves and really put pressure on Blues when they probably should have done better. Thrown in the air again, middle of the ground. Both got a hand onto it. Young around the body goes to centre half forward. The ball bounces all of the way. No trap. Now a chance in Barks in trouble. Quinn at the back. Oh, oh he went deliberately straight through the line. Oh, he's paid it. And he's paid it. Well, he had to. He knew Quinn was there. All he did was find the line. But, but hang on, he was under pressure, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. He was under pressure. He but, knew he was there. And he had other choices, though, I guess. But Anyway, Quinn gets it. Not an easy shot. It's not, but, gee, a little boomerang here. I must little... say, I don't like seeing that paid. No. No. I don't, I don't I'm with so you, John. He, he had a Blake on his hammer. I mean, he could have done something else, but then he would have knocked sure. it out of bounds deliberately. There's, le there's less chance of having a free kick played against the rushing it behind than out of bounds. So yes. looking at goal number five, the Blues! He's done it! <laughs> Wasn't too far out to score. Collegians players and are they're right. They are rightly asking. They are rightly asking oh. the question. The umpire will give them nothing. 
And they've got to get on with it. Five goals yeah. has been scored by Uni Blues in this first turn. They go into five goals, 2.32. It's a pretty harsh penalty. Skipped right away from Collegians. I mean, that, that, that's what would have gone through his head. Yeah. That if I put it out of bounds, that will be deliberate. Yes. Yeah. Didn't miss by much. And his only other choice was to do nothing with it because <laughs> he was flat out on the ground. So if he'd done nothing, Quinn was on his feet. He could have picked it up and done something with it. So Back in the centre of the ground. That's a tough call. Yeah, it is a tough call. It is. Uh, Absolutely. Tough first quarter for Collegians. They're uh, five goals down as Sam Hibbins... Uh, Flicks the ball back to the field umpire. Puts the ball in the air again. This time, Pemberthy was able to do some good follow-up work after getting the tap down. Kicking it deep into attack there. And a mark. Surely, no, not paid by the umpire on that occasion. And Uni Blues Cameron. are able to defend there through Cameron. Cross half back. Looking for Batterillo. Couldn't keep a handle on the football. Came off his hands and over the boundary line and out of bounds. Just uh, between half back and wing. On the base side of the ground. It's at the social club end of the beach road oval. Boundary umpire puts the ball in the Good air. Early. This time Williams got the tap down. Rippon was in there. He's wearing the number four, so they've obviously had the jumper swap. Girlfriends effective. made it back to Port Melbourne. Yep, and back, so that's pretty good. <laughs> That's a huge effort. That's a big uh, call in the yeah. first quarter, and we've uh, ticked over 30 minutes. What well, love's all quarter. about, Petchy. Yeah, I know that. I forgot what all that's about, you know. <laughs> 31 <laughs> points, the difference. We're deep in time. Come on, take it away, Simon. Let's not get too personal, but however, that is love. Pemberth, he's had a very good opening quarter. He has. John. Yeah. 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 I forgot me tired to go to the races one day. I never got it. <laughs> had to go naked, uh, virtually. Ball up again. Now a free she kick is. going. Blues Marshall's Hold, holding the ball. He's paid. Yeah, so Rippon ends up with it. He goes beach road side. He heard the call from Townley. He gave a beautiful kick over there to him. And he marks in front of Croft. Beach road side in front of the school ball. They're a long way in front. Blues late stages of this first on term. He goes to Taylor. And we'll have a ball in. 31 points oh, it's out, in the pool. out in the full. Oh, was it Car out in the full? Carried the line, yeah. It's too wide. <laughs> so Acted to take the free kick here for Collegian. 32 playing one. Blues had the lead. They've got the advantage of this four to six goal breeze in this first term. He goes up the line. He finds Sam Hibbins. A smart kick from that, Ted. And he marks on centre wing. Sun in the eyes of the people over there. It's a beautiful sunny day down here in Sandringham by the bay. He goes towards the half forward line area. But Townley again stands his ground and takes the mark as easy as you like. There was no pressure on him whatsoever. It was a very ordinary kick by Hibbins. Townley goes across to Young. He marks inside defensive 50 here for Blues. Social club end of the ground. He goes further to Vickers Willis. He goes shorter to Flanagan. He takes the mark before Waterman arrives. So they've worked at one side of the ground or the other. Screaming for it, McMahon. Flanagan ignored him. He goes to Quinn and Zimbarks. Zimbarks one out. Handball to Hibbins. Now on the beach road side, the bay side. He goes towards half forward. Fished away by Flanagan. Had found George Cameron. Handball inside to Hayes. Oh, you're in trouble. Then he got out of it. Ordinary kick off the boot. Zimbarks a good spoil. It came over the back. It'll go over the boundary line. We'll have a ball in. 60 out from Blues goal. Oh. Collegians, of course, were uh, six goals down last week in the first quarter, and uh, so they'll, they'll be calm about things. Long way to go. Well, first quarter's gone uh, around 34 minutes, thanks to Sky High Man Denong. There's a, Make another a Make restart here. The boundary ban umpire's going to have to do his work again. The field umpire wasn't happy with that boundary line, the bespectacled uh, boundary umpire. Had a big quarter. There it is. Yeah, it's, it, this time sits, hey, it's up, there. sits up a little bit there. Jen Jenkinson got the hand to it. Down to Ong. He's wrapped up by Gapen. <laughs> and the umpire said, no, give it to me. He wanted to throw him into the deck there, Gapen. He did. He wanted to do that. Wanted to bury him. But uh, <laughs> the field umpire <laughs> puts the ball in there. This time Williams got the hand to it for uh, Uni Blues. Ducked around, literally, Apted, able to get the kick, the high, up and under kick, up towards centre wing position. Not quite a rainmaker. Vickers Willis did nicely there, but he got dispossessed. <laughs> Not a clean uh, disposal then in the end. He undid his good work. Paddy Hayes was in there. He got the handball out. And the siren sounds uh, to end a good quarter for uh, University Blues. That first term, thanks to Sky High Mount Dandenong, 
And at quarter time, the Six Degrees Executive Recruitment Scoreboard showing University Blues 5-2-32. Leading Collegians, one behind, one point. We'll take a break, we'll catch our breath, and we'll come back for a quarter time summary on 96.5 NRFM. Sky high. Interesting to see what Collegians can do. Uh, calling the action for the start of the second quarter, Simon Petch. On 96.5 NRFM. Thanks, Barnaby. Last week, Johnny, it was 1-1 to 5-3 in favour of D-Last. So there's not much in it. <laughs> Turn him on, Tim. Tim. And then I think uh, d Lar might have kicked the first goal. <laughs> yeah. I, I seem to recall it was six, six goals yep. to, to one. Yep. So they've started again this second term against Uni Blues Collegians with an uphill battle. But they've got this four to six goal breeze going with them in this second term. We're underway, and let's just see what they can pull out of their hat in this second term. It was all Uni Blues in that first quarter. They tackled brilliantly. They didn't give Collegians a sniff. Let's see what can happen in this second term. We're still in the middle of the ground for another ball up. 32 playing one. The breeze may have strengthened even a little bit more in this second term here. Yeah, 3.30 in the afternoon. We're just starting the second term. George Cameron cops one high for Uni Blues and gets the first free kick of the quarter. Handball to Young. He goes to Dale Hinckley. Heard the call to Townley. Oh, Young got it back. That was well played. He followed up. He goes to James. And James marks it. About 60 out from Blues. Goal into the breeze. Into the social club end of the ground. James on the base side of the ground. He goes and tries to square it up and drops short. Oh, McMahon McMahon. there. Nearly held on to it. Good support from his teammates. He went to the boundary line. Young goes with it. Left foot kick. Goes into goal and misses everything. Resultant free kick collegians. Down at the social club end of the ground. Kicking with the breeze in this second term. So we're Hilton just to take it. One minute into this uh, second term at 3.30 on a Sunday afternoon. Young got wrapped up in a tackle. I think uh, taken over the boundary line. Well, it was an ordinary kick in from Hilton. He gave his teammate no hope, but they got a free kick out of the collegians anyway. So Apted, uh, Lindsay Apted uh, will take the kick on the right boot up towards halfback. Oh, Sam Hibbins able to spill it and take a, what uh, John's described as a great mark on the second grab. Hibbins goes inboard and finds Ong. Just slowly working his way into the game with the handball this time. They go across half back up towards the centre wing. That was Johnson. It was a beautiful kick. Now deep in attack there for Collegians. Ball bouncing over the back there and thumped through. They call for the deliberate and the umpire goes with it. I suppose once they set that precedent in the first term. <laughs> I, I think if nothing else you could say it was consistent but uh, Gee. Yeah, you had to play I'm, that one after the, oh, after totally the not, first I'm, quarter. Totally I'm not a big it. rep for the rule, I've got to be frank, but anyway. There's no, no, there's the two of them the there. There's yeah. two of them there. They could have They could they have, could have raffled it. it, John. Yeah. But great lead up from Sam Hibbins, Mark inboard, and then um, Johnson's beautiful kick coming forward. So Singleton puts the score on the board. That's the first goal for Collegians this afternoon. And on the uh, Bayford scoreboard, move up to 117, now trailing by 25 points. Uni Blues 5-2-32. We've just ticked over two and a half minutes thanks to Deloitte in this second term. Well, you, I mean, you could argue that's that's pretty dumb play having seen what happened at, at, at the other end. Um, and I think the Collegians one was still, a hard, was still a hard call, whereas I think that that was maybe... Well, it's not something that's been paid much all year, really, no, has exactly. it? The rush behind. Correct. So, but... Back in the middle we go again. Three minutes into this second term. Collegians kick their first goal through Singleton down at the Yacht Club end. Oh, bad bounce for Tardif. Dale Hinckley out the back lurking. Gets his hand on him and oh, long spun out of trouble. Handball wasn't good. Flanagan there. Got it there to Townley. A short kick in for luck. Only as far as Apted, who gets around the body with a kick towards the boundary line. It bounces okay here for Vickers Willis. He had to get around with a handball. He done that. Dale Hinckley in trouble, brought to ground, lost the footy. Chance for Collegians. They bring it back close to the boundary line. It goes over. We'll have a free kick going Townley's way. Down at the Yacht Club end. Oh. Now Croft just throws it away from <laughs> Townley. <laughs> no right penalty. in front of the ump. And Jack regathers it. 
And now looks, where are you going to go, Jack? Straight up the ground, that's what he does. It hangs in the air a long time. They go up, no one can take the mark. Over Quinn's head, found Young. Young spins around, handball to Williams, standing still. He was upended, he got his kick in in the nick of time. Up towards, Jen uh, towards Jenkinson and Johnson. Now a chance for Young underground. He got it out to Gape and he put it under his arm. He goes for a run. Low left foot, he goes a right foot. Kick towards the boundary line. He made it hard for his teammate Taylor who came out, spun on a threat and he goes towards full forward. It bounces in front of everybody. Summers is there close to the boundary line. He sees it over. Oh, great. And we'll have a ball in. Great bit of scrapping there from the Blues. Starting out of the back line. Just every inch of territory they could get. They ran it up the ground and a bit of class wrapped up there also from... Uh, uh, Taylor. Three minutes in. Three minutes into this second term. Blues have the lead. Thrown back in. Penberthy fists it down. He got it down to Abtet. A clearing kick in towards the centre of the ground. Oh, well trapped there by Tana. In front there of Townley. Got a kick in. Goes towards half forward. Will it sit here for Croft? He goes to the boundary line with Vickers. Willis, he goes there. The ball's on the ground, though. They're wrestling each other. Allows uh, Fraser Cameron in. A right foot kick around the body, squares it up. Hayes there, fished away by Lappin. Hayes at the ground level. Picks it up, a handball in a tally. Handball back to Cunningham. Blues work it out. They go towards the centre wing area. Fished away there by Hibbins. It didn't work there on Summers, although the umpire said a free, free kick going Hibbins way. So this is Sam Hibbins will take the free kick. And a result in 25 metre penalty. Getting a bit carried away here, these umpires, I think. Yeah, I don't know what that was for bit either, too, Johnny. Too, just too That's much time, too much time was, getting it back. Yeah, bit tardy, bit slow in getting the ball back, but yeah, probably a bit pedantic. Oh, I was giving him a I shot at goal as well, so. Yes, it's a big penalty. He's, he's had an influence in this quarter, Sam Hibbins. Yeah, yeah a couple um, of touches. That's right. So it's his first uh, scoring opportunity yeah. for the afternoon. He's a step over 50, and he'll kick it from about 47 on the right boot. That's a lovely kick. That's straight over the goal umpire's head, and Sam Hibbins' first signals Collegian's second goal on the Six Degrees Executive Recruitment Scoreboard, 2-1-13, trailing by 19 points. Uni Blues still on their quarter-time score, 5-2-32. That's uh, thanks to Deloitte, and I reckon we've ticked just over five minutes in this second term. Yeah, well... I mean, from a Blues perspective, they'd be pretty uh, cross with themselves there. Two unnecessary uh, goals given away there. One by virtue of a deliberate rush behind, the other by a, a 25-metre penalty. Oh, it's all happening here. Things getting blown about. Back in the centre of the ground, Simon Pitch uh, just uh, looking to find his glasses. In the meantime, <laughs> hey. Ryan Ede with the scrappy kick uh, out of the side of the ground. Up towards half forward there. Batterillo. Batterillo swings around pretty high up and under kick. Uh, Collegians missed the opportunity and now uh, Pete Summers gets on the end of it. On the right boot, puts it in towards the goal, but it, just across the face, the wind took it. And Summers is first behind. That's the first uh, behind of the second term for University Blues. 5-3-33 leading Collegians 2-1-13. So Zimbarch to bring the ball back in. We've gone just on six minutes in this first, second term. He goes to Seb Evans. Oh, bad handball. It put Johnson under enormous pressure. Seb Evans goes in after it again. Rippon gets there first, though. Handball to Quinn. A tackle there by Hibbins. He lost the footy. Umpire says, you dropped it and the free kick going. And he's giving another 25. This Hibbins way. way. He's hot. And a 25 to boot. Umpire's on fire. Yeah, he is. The same one. You're right, Johnny's really getting carried away. So brings Hibbins to centre half back here for Collegians. Goes forward to centre wing to Croft. He takes the mark. He wants to play on. He doesn't. He goes back and has a look. Tardiff leads for him at centre half forward. At the back, Fraser Cameron opens the door now for Trotter. Just has to kick it off the ground. Noah bounced away from him. Handball back to Wong. On can goal from here, and he will. So Kenny Young kicks his first of the afternoon. Collegians kick their third. They go on to 3 one twenty. Uni Blues on 5-3-33. That on the Bayford scoreboard for Deloitte. We've gone eight minutes in this second. Sermon Ong has kicked his first. Uh, well, again, just one of those rolling balls over the back. And uh, it was a uh, really good play there from Trotter once he realised he was out. Yeah, yeah. He looked up and saw, uh, saw Ong there with plenty of space. 
you can see Collegians are now got their composure back and just playing with a bit more smarts and, and delivering the ball with a bit more purpose. And that was smart play to stay down and on that long ball inside 50, and, and they made the most of it. Mirror image of last week, Cam. Yep. Mirror. Yep. Total mirror Except image. probably they started scoring quicker. Yeah, okay. It took, yeah. took them 10 minutes last week to, yep. to get uh, get back into it. Yep. Back in the centre of the ground, Penbethy again. Just got the fingernail in favour, but uh, Williams put in a stern contest. Getting the kick clear on that occasion was Mugovan. Up towards half forward for uh, Yeti Blutes. They're deep in attack here. Going back towards Gapen uh, with the underground handball. He lost uh, the handle on the football. Mishi just uh, gets the kick clear. Just hacked it forward. Up towards uh, half forward for Collegians. Lappin got taken too high. And I think the umpire's going to stop play here. And uh, Connor Lappin just uh, got a little tap there from uh, Kenny Ong on the way through. So a bit of... Uh, Getting to know one another with the players. Up towards uh, deep in attack there for Collegians. Tardif couldn't take it. Play it. It's the same It's the same up. Wrapped his opponent up in a tackle, but there was he didn't have any time, did he, John? Well, he did go back into it, uh, I reckon. And the, and the 25 minute And it's penalty. the same boy. Yep. Three well, in a row. That was fair enough because they just threw the ball away. I think as a playing group, John, you have to be able to read what the umpires are doing. Yeah. If, they, if they're going to pay them hot and they're going to give them 25s, and you've got to, you've, as a playing group, you've got to be able to adapt to that. You just can't expect it to, to go your way. Exactly. Well, that's right. Let's start to play a bit higher. I mean, ultimately, that, I think the free kick was probably there. He did mm. go back into it. He should have run away from it. So Will Tardif, the uh, goal scorer from last week, kicks it from 20 metres out, puts it straight over the goal umpire's head. That's his first for the afternoon, and they've kicked four very quick goals to start this second term. Collegians, as they now race up to 4 1 25, they trail Uni Blues 5 3 33. So, eight points the difference. That's on the Bayford scoreboard in this second quarter, thanks to Deloitte. We've just gone over 10 minutes, boys. I do think that the Blues have got themselves to blame for all four goals, really. They're yeah, but also think credit to Collegians. They're actually after the contest. They're taking front spot. They've got a bit of momentum through those contested situations. And defended Blues a few times well out uh, the other uh, end. Yeah, their pressure's been fantastic. So 10 minutes gone, second term. All Collegians so far in this quarter. On board the ground, good tackle, Hinkley Dale on him. And the umpire says, give it to me, I'll ball it up. If he doesn't do anything else, he blows the whistle. He's going to do something yep, here. He's going the head. I can say it. <laughs> He's yelling at these players and he's given a free kick to all. In high. the middle of the ground, yeah. Head high contact. So Kenny gets it. Now he's got Tardif lurking, Hibbins lurking. Blood rule. Fraser Cameron and a blood rule for Kenong. Is it okay? Yeah. So he comes off the ground. Courtney Hilton will take the free kick. In the middle of the ground, 26 playing 33. Blues have the lead. Collegians have the breeze to the Yacht Club end of this second term. Hilton just wants to bomb it long. There's no one moving for him just at the minute. Umpire will blow. Time off. We're going to be moment. here late, Patchy. Yeah, yeah Patchy. Say. So here we go. Kilton. Tardif leads one way. Croft the other. He goes to Croft. In front, Ferguson. Oh, well done, Williams. Put his body on the line. Oh, Flanagan went without it. Vickers Willis goes in. Go, Ferguson goes over him. Rippon tries to work it out. Umpire says, give it to me, I'll ball it up. A lot of arms up appealing to the umpire yeah. there. Well done, Williams, though. He came charging in. He nearly held onto it. He put his body on the line. He'll do it again here in Ruck. Forces Croft under the footy. Fished away there by McMahon. Now Tardif around the body. Oh, oh well done. He spotted up Hibbins and gave it to him. Directly in front of goal. He must have known he was there. It was a short, deliberate kick around the body. He couldn't see him, but he did it. He's been fantastic, Sam Beautiful. Hibbins, whether it's been, you know, winning the contested ball in the midfield or now playing forward. He's, he's just become a, such a great player in this competition. And, and the nous of uh, Tardif there again. So to peg the margin back to one point, Hibbins goes in but misses. He was directly in front. He missed it. And they kick their second behind of the afternoon. 5-3, 33, the Blues. 4-2-27, Collegians. Then on the Bayford scoreboard for Deloitte, we've gone 12 minutes in this second term. A bad miss there to Hibbets. 
So uh, University Blues bring the ball in long outside of the ground. Paddy Hayes was going after it. He couldn't get it on the ground. Hacking away at it, plays from both sides. Football, yeah, and a scramble. The umpires there. pulled another free kick. Yeah, here. against Cameron on uh, Penberth. He just put him down when he didn't have the ball. So against George Cameron going to uh, Tom Penberthy. Penberthy on the left boot. That's a beautiful kick on this occasion. Up look, over the oh. head of Singleton and uh, Tardif oh. just spills in. He read the that opportunist beautifully. read it beautifully. Exactly. So Singleton, I think, was the player he was probably kicking it for, but it was over his head, and Tardif just found himself in this beautiful space and was poetry in motion. And I'll tell you what I've learned about Will Tardiff in the uh, last six weeks. He doesn't, he doesn't miss set shots. Does he like a goal, John? A very good goal kicker for a backman. Oh, you put the mods on him. You've, put the, you've done it. Johnny, you that is one behind. He's pushed it off to the right. Well, that's the first set shot I've seen in this. <laughs> So Tardiff 1-1, one, one, and they move up to 4-3-27, trailing University Blues by an even goal, 5-3-33. So two bad misses there, one to Hibbins, one to Tardiff. Could have put them in front for the first time today. Quick back in, Hayes over the body, goes to Russell. Oh, bad bounce on him. Summers read a beautifully handball, Taylor. He gave it to Young, heard the call. A oh. kick along the ground's not too good, though. It came straight there towards Johnson, who brings it back virtually once it came to Tardiff. Dixon gets there first, though. Around Vickers, Willis to Tardiff. No, on, on to Tardiff. Now Tardiff lines it up. He goes to centre half forward, full forward at the back. He, oh. Fraser, he can't make Waterman. Waterman in the goal has kicked the points. No, no, He's missed no. it. They all believe he kicked it. No, it came off it the blues play. For a minor score. Behind. And a minor score there to Collegians. Taking them on to 28. Blues on 33. So Flanagan goes in with the low pass. Young couldn't take the ground ball. But going after it, uh, they did nicely on, through Riley McMahon, who follows up to it, taking the ground by Ong in a solid tackle. Out of side of the ground. In fact, beach, side, uh, beach road side of the ground. Between, just out of half back, outside the forward 50 for Collegians, who are kicking up towards the Sandringham Yacht Club into the ground. Jenkinson just missed it on that occasion. Paddy Hayes was in there for Uni Blues, but Collegians able to get the hat kick out, but it's marked across half back very nicely through Jeremy Taylor for Uni Blues. Taylor's kick bouncing towards the boundary. Oh, there go. Running, running onto it nicely there was Hinkley. Hinkley's kick along the line just bounced fortuitously in front of uh, Mark James, who took the ball over the boundary line and out of bounds. Smack bang centre wing. It's on the bay side of the ground. Sunshine abounds. And the boundary umpire will put the ball back into play. We've now ticked over 15 minutes into this second term, thanks to Deloitte. 33 playing 29. Blues have the lead. Kicking into the breeze. Collegians with it to the Yacht Club end of the ground. Everybody overruns it. Now Rippon gets front berth. Young backing him up. Can't trap it. Free kick has been paid Should here. be to Young. Should be to Ross Young. And he's going to give it to Trotter here Trotter. Mm. for some reason. Well, I couldn't see him involved in that, but no. anyway, he ends up with it. Centre wing comes towards half forward. Lap it in front, will trap it. Goes after it again, well done. Handball, not a real good one. Put Hickley under pressure. He got it back now, Fraser Cameron. Handball back into weed, all in trouble. Had to heard the call from McMahon. Oh, no left foot. He went the right foot. It didn't work, it went out of play. We'll have a ball in. Collegians' pressure's been fantastic in this quarter and certainly lifted from the first. So that's been a big, big bearer on how they've turned this quarter around. Same as Blues' pressure in the first quarter. The gang tackling, the backing up. It's been a mirror image, you would say. Thrown back in again, centre wing, bay side of the ground, through Hilton, out the back, Jeremy Muggerman, straight into Trotter. He lost the footy, Trotter wins it. Left foot kick goes to centre half forward. Oh, well done. There by Vickers Willis. He's held onto the mark. He has a BP. Tardis brings him to ground and will have a ball up. Well, if he didn't play the mark, he should have played oh, holding oh, the ball then. Yes. He grabbed that, there was no doubt about it. Tardis didn't get a hand onto it. Umpire was nowhere to be seen. Thrown in the air again. Out of mid-air, <laughs> Penberthy along the ground. Mishy there looking for someone to give it to. Nearly threw it out. Oh, bursting away is Ede. He gets a kick around the body towards the boundary line. Trotter will stop it. He then goes to ground. Backed up by Dixon. He lost the footy. Three kick going. Batterillo's way for Uni Blues. On the beach road, side of the ground. Down in defence. 
So we've got a very solid contest. It's a it's a terrific game of footy. Down here at the beach road oval as Batterillo goes with the long high ball. Centre wing out of side of the ground marking uh, the ball just stretched up to take the mark. Harper. It was beautiful. Kieran Harper. Harper just steady play down. Goes across half back with the short to Dale Hinckley. So Uni Blues just looking to just keep possession for the next uh, few moments. And he finds Rippon. So Rippon just uh, taking a few moments. They're just slowing this game. Going again across the ground. So no forward movement. Finds Harper. Still a very dangerous spot of the ground for if they turn it over. Correct. So Harper goes in short. Oh, oh and Pete Summers has taken the mark and dealt with by uh, Courtney Hilton, who's not being penalised. Ah, no, that was, that was fair enough. Perhaps uh, was just slightly after he'd taken the mark. But the umpire said, no, fair enough, take your kick. So uh, someone's got up, took his kick. It was a short one, it was no good. And Hilton was able to get in there. So too was Tardiff, who swings around on the right boot, putting the ball in a dangerous position for Cleveland's Ball bouncing over the back there. Vickers Willis, the captain for Uni Blues, with all of the work to do, gets the handball across to uh, Lappin. Lappin's kick's turned over. They're under a lot of pressure there from the Legions. And Fraser Cameron's able to take the mark. And well within scoring distance uh, in front of our commentary position. We're in the right forward pocket. He's kicking up towards the Sandringham Yacht Club. And he's standing at about uh, 60 metres. He'll kick it from about 45 just checking with the umpire, the angle. Got a lot of goal open to him. So Fraser Cameron hasn't troubled the scorers this afternoon. He steps on 50 now, and he'll kick it from just inside 45 on the left to right angle. It's a beautiful kick. That was a magnificent finish there for Fraser Cameron. His first goal on the board this afternoon. And they now hit the front, 5-4, 34 Legions leading University Blues 5 3 33. We've ticked over 20 minutes in the second term thanks to Deloitte and that scoreboard thanks to Bayford. Boys, we've got a big game happening here. This is fantastic. Well, yeah, it, uh, uh, just good defensive pressure from Collegians because Willis on the way out there was uh, under pressure and, and the kick clear by Taylor, I think it was, just, just couldn't penetrate into that wind. So Collegians hit the front, 35 to 33. And there's still a lot of the quarter to go, so, yep. so they can get themselves a, a few goals here to, uh, to get Blues on the chase next quarter. For Blues, they've just got to nullify it, maybe try and get one themselves with their morale. 20 minutes gone in this second term. Clayton Hinckley puts it on the boot for Blues, goes to centre half, four, no one takes the mark. Ball hits the deck, they go in after it. And the umpire says, give it to me at centre half, forward there for Uni Blues, I'll ball it up. I think the difference, Collegians on balls are really good at keeping the ball in when they're tackled. Blues kind of try to get it out and get it moving and not secure the situation. So the spillage is actually creating play for, for Collegians. Plenty around the footy. Penberthy double fisted out. Now Kieran Harper got a handball, a little loose one. A handball along the ground wasn't good. Opens the door here and away go Collegians from defence to Croft. Over his head and Lappins as well. They kept going forward. Chance here, Fraser Cameron. Oh, he had to run another tackle. He lost the footy. Well bent down here by Vickers Willis. Handball up here to Flanagan in trouble. Gets on his trusty left now. Bangs it back towards centre wing. High up and under kick. Underneath the Johnson car mark. Numbers. Handball there for Dixon. Please, Handball to Abkin. He goes, oh, he gave it straight to Taylor. He couldn't believe it. Taylor goes in towards Young. Young into an open goal. Oh, it goes no. right across the face. And it hits the post, or it dribbles out. It goes out, we'll have a ball in. Oh, he got the fright of his life, Taylor. He wasn't <laughs> expecting that. <laughs> Golden opportunity for Ross Young then. I'm yeah. not quite sure why he didn't uh, run closer to goal. Thrown back in. Social club side, beach road side, sorry, of the ground. Thrown back in in front of the kiosk. Penberthy got it down towards the boundary line. Again, we'll have another ball in. It's a dangerous area here for Collegians. Uni Blues have given up the lead. They trail by two points, 33 playing 35. Collegians have the lead with the breeze in this second term. We've gone just on 22 minutes into it. And we're down at the Blues end at the social club end, Penberthy Palm, but down well, read through there by Rippon. He got the handball out and hit the deck. Clayton Hickley around the body into goal. Oh, Fished Gapen, away from almost. Gapen. Had found uh, Fay, who goes in towards goal. Jenkinson held up. He's got the footy. They want him. 
They won't get a free kick. We'll have another ball up directly in front. Waste no time. Thrown in the air. Pinbooty out the back. No one there for him. Cassidy there. Mishy there. Mishy held onto it. Then he had to put get rid down. of it. He put it down. He did put it down. And we'll have another ball up. Just metres around from a Blues goal. At the social club end of the ground. 23 minutes gone in this second term. Fist clear. Clayton Hickley holding on to his man. No free kick. Oh, oh, oh. Play, he Kenny broke on. a tra tackle there. It was great. He got it out somehow. Outside defensive 50. Fraser, George Cameron, a handball to Summers, who got it back to Dale Hinkley, who goes towards Muggerman. Muggerman on the boot from the pocket. He goes to centre half forward. No one can mark Young. Paddled it oh. in front of him. Chance there for Hibbins. He trapped it. Over him was Gapen looking for a free kick. Taylor's got a fair bit of it as well. The umpire says, give it to me, I'll ball it up directly in front. Need the other umpire up there then to pay the toe he wants. <laughs> oh, beautifully called, Simon. This uh, game's really. Uh, rising with every moment. It's a great contest here. Back into now a pack of, a seething pack of plays with um, Johnson. Johnson just banging it clear of defensive uh, half back and the ball bouncing over the boundary line and now between wing and half forward. So well, good effort from Collegians there with standing that. Blue's going hard, but uh, really needed a goal there. Hey, sure did. They had it down there. There was a, a perfect opportunity for a couple of them, Johnny, but as we tick up oh, towards uh, 25 minutes, thanks to Deloitte in this second term. Back into play there. Pete Summers got the uh, handball out, but uh, couldn't find a, a teammate to his advantage. The ball spilt over the boundary line and out of bounds. Around the grounds in uh, Prem C, Caulfield Grammarians, 9-8-62, leading at Marslin, 5-5-35. That is in the third quarter now. And Paran Assumption in Division 2, 6-9-45, leasing West Brunswick, 1-3-9. Also in the third term, back in ruck there, came off the boot and uh, Cameron then kicked it up towards half forward. Couldn't take the mark on that occasion. Taylor presented well into a packed position again. In fact, wrapped up and the umpire again will say, give it to me, lads. Had a good few minutes for Blues, just uh, keeping the ball up there into the ground. and uh... That was Clayton Hinkley handing the ball back to the field umpire. Muggervin's in there, but the kick out there for Collegians, scrappy. Bouncing towards and almost over the banner line. Kept it in play on that occasion. Clint, uh, Clayton Hink Hinkley's able to uh, get the ball up towards half forward. Over Apted's outstretched hands for Collegians. But they're able to again go with the long high kick. Dangerously up towards half forward. And Collegians now with an opportunity. Croft has the ball thumped away. Vickers Willis does the job on that occasion. Cunningham gets the handball across to oh. Williams. Over to Vickers Willis. Goodness and some me. great defending there. Flanagan gets the handball across. Rippon. Oh. So they managed to get it from half back up towards the centre wing. Coughed but Dominic Russell's able to get in there for Free to Collegians. Collegians. Lockie Ferguson. Well, he's besieged. These, they beset on him. They then throw it out on that occasion. Oh. And Croft's able to get it here for oh. Collegians. He's wrapped up there by Cunningham. And a free Very kick. Very lucky. The Blues' uh, defence there uh, just had completely left a couple of players in Singleton and Ong. No. Uh, not Singleton, number eight. What's Cameron. His name? Cameron, Cameron yeah, Cameron. on their own Fraser down Cameron. there. If they had it turned it over, they were in. So Townley on the left boot, up towards uh, half forward, off hands there, and over the boundary line and out of bounds. Gapen uh, couldn't uh, keep a handle on it, and the boundary umpire will be called into action. Ticked over... Uh, 26 and a half minutes in this third, in this second term, thanks to Deloitte and the scoreboard showing a two-point ball game. My score shows one point, but we'll check that at halftime. Simon Petch. So Williams and Penberthy to go at it again, thrown back in, base side of the ground. No one actually got a hand onto it. Young, he picked it up, put it on the boot, goes towards centre half forward, and Taylor, it goes across the face now. Taylor leads in the race. Oh, well at done, the back Apted. of him was Apted, though. He then, oh, Jenkinson, he found the boundary line. He found Johnson, though, just in front Good of him. Well, he goes to Trotter. Trotter in front of the scoreboard, Beach Road side of the ground, over Townley's head. No one backing up. They come out to meet it. Singleton there. Handball to Russo for to Ferguson. 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 Left foot kick around the body. Standing still Cameron. Fraser. And Fraser Cameron takes the mark. He well, judged it beautifully. Brilliant individual efforts there on that far side of the ground. Uh, Ferguson and uh, who was it up, the, up that far end? Trotter did well with his kick as well. But a good, good exchange of play. Collegian's yeah. defence has been outstanding in the last sort of 10, 15 yeah. minutes. 
and they're set up four to the ball. They look very dangerous as well. Collegians have got um, good space, good distance between each other, and they've been able to find them um, coming forward. So Fraser Cameron's set up for his second goal. Yeah, deliberate shot here by Fraser. Beach Road shot of the ground. The breeze in his back. It'll bring him across as he puts it up. Brings it across too far. No, he's kicked it. He's put it through. He's judged it beautifully. Fraser Cameron kicks his second. Collegians kick their sixth. They go on a 6-5-41. Leading Blues 5-3-33. That on the Bayford scoreboard for Deloitte. We've gone just on 27 minutes in this second term. Well, it's been a great quarter from Collegians. They, they started ticking over early with a couple of uh, assisted sort of goals that as much, much as anything were Blues fades, fade outs and um, they played some great footy and uh, just basic footy, pure footy, played the percentages and played in front. Deep in time on in the second term. This time Williams got the uh, hand, the hand to it. Re Eads in there, Ryan Eade. He got uh, taken a bit high, I think. And the umpire gets up with his head between uh, Hilton's legs. So... Uh, Fair enough that he uh, gets the free kick with the uh, ball now going beneath the scoreboard. Out of sight of the ground, up towards half forward, between wing and half forward. Scrappy, scrambling, ball on the ground. So Apted's been really good. Muggins That's him on there. the bottom of that pack. George Cameron was in there for uh, Uni Blues. The umpire again. So we're deep in time on. The scoreboard's showing an eight-point difference. Both sides trying to get it forward. This time, uh, Collegians are able to get it, flick it out of the pack there. Hinkley uh, able to hold them up for a moment, but Penberthy did some great work for the big man, following up there with the high ball. Now bouncing, bouncing over the boundary line and out of bounds. Uh, deep inside this scoring zone, Collegians. It's in the right forward pocket at the Sandringham Yacht Club end. Another opportunity for Collegians, who have kicked six goals in this second term. Blues have brought Kieran Harper up onto the up around the ball. So the boundary line restart, a bit of a wrestle. So in the end, the ball bounces. Neither Ruckman got near it, and uh, flick back there by Flanagan was uh, ineffectual. Running onto it there was Johnson. This is uh, hey. Will, and the ball <laughs> almost uh, found Johnny Kennis. Okay. Hey, Johnny, squirt it out. I was in. Frighten yes. the life out of you, Johnny. Oh, gosh. <laughs> almost, uh, almost got your first possession for the afternoon. But they've only umpire in the meantime. We'll put the ball back into play beneath our commentary position. We're now deep in time on. We've ticked over 30 minutes in this second term, thanks to Deloitte. Throw back in, Penberthy towards the boundary line. And again, we'll have another ball up as Fraser Cameron. Again, tried Fraser to... Cameron going in at yep. it. It's the Ruckman that went to tackle him. There are no Blues players on the deck. He's right in the air. Oh, no one will go at that one. A bounce on the deck. Hibbins of bootlaces. Now George Cameron, a handball hit. A Quinny fumbled it. High tackle by Waterman. Was it seen? No. Quinn down here in. too, Cam. So they're throwing numbers down. Quinn's down here as well. 41 playing 33. Collegians had the lead. They're kicking with the breeze in this second term. They've kicked six goals with it. Seems too close to Kieran Harper. Thrown back in. Penberthy down to Fraser Cameron. Out the side into Croft. No left foot. Goes the right foot. Banana. It bounces. Will it bounce away from Lapper? No. It bounces back into him beautifully. He gets around and bobs it on his boot. But a bad kick. And he just bought uh, Plenty Faye of collisions. in no, the play. They're telling him to have a shot. And oh. Siren goes and Faye will have a shot here for collisions from the Beach Road side of the ground. Oh, it's a big kick. Sure is. It'll bring the house down if he kicks it. He's got the breeze in his back. He's outside. The man on the mark is about five metres outside the 50. So he'll have to bring this back. He'll kick it out wide, and then maybe the breeze will do something for Played him. On. He's gone close to the man. It's called play. And it's gone through for a... No result. He went, he went, he went off, his line. off his line. He went okay. off his line as he was kicking it, and yeah. umpire blew no play result. on. So <laughs> half-time here, down at the Trevor Barker Oval. Sees Collegians go in at half time with the lead. 6 5 41. They turned it right around in that second term to lead Uni Blues on 5 3 33. In that term, Collegians kicked six goals, four with the breeze, and against it, the Blues could only manage one behind. So 41 playing 33. That's half time. We'll be back in a moment. 
to avoid Australia is flying anywhere near as much as they were earlier in the game. Hopefully in for a good contest to start the third term. Simon Pitts calling the action on Come 96.5. Come on, Pitts. Yes, we'll Bring it on. Get on. Come on, Pitts. Fire up. Caden Property Services and... Uh, Hydric and Struggles. Hydric and Struggles bring us this third term. 40 playing 33. What a magnificent afternoon too that was too. Yeah. Oh, must like to thank the, Who was the people provider? responsible for that. Oh, thank you, Simon. That was beautiful. Thank you. Was that your daughter who cooked yeah, the Yes, and my wife. I had a little bit There's to do with it. There's an example of that, Cam. That, that really smart kick out from Dixon. So Ong, he found Ong, who now goes to centre-half forward for Collegians, but they're being held up here. No, uh, it was uh, tired of holding the jumper and of Townley. Townley gets the free kick. He goes shorter here to George Cameron. A oh. bad kick, though. Dale Hinckley in trouble. Handball Williams back to George Cameron. Well, Left foot kick in into trouble. the middle of the ground to James. He can't mark. Clayton Hinckley over the back. Trapped it beautifully. Goes to centre-half forward. Door opens beautifully for Young. Young into goal. Yeah, yeah there he is. That's a ripper. And kicks the first goal of the third quarter for Blues. And it brings them back within a point. They go on a 6-3-39. Collegians on 6-4-40. We've gone just on one minute and a half in this third term. And Young kicks his first of the day. And the Blues would have liked that um, in the sense of the, the way in which they, they got that goal. They looked in board, lowered the eyes, and then and saw Ross Young there to be able to finish. And so um, good style of play that, that led up to that goal. Uh, very lucky to get out of the back half there. There's a lot of jittery uh, handballs. But he's a dead-eye dick, isn't he, Ross, with his kicking, and he certainly made no mistake there. Back in the middle, Summers goes forward for Blues again. Oh, Taylor at a bounce. He may have gone at it. He didn't. Now Quinn's got the footy. Had oh, to ride a faint tackle. tackle. Well and done by he Faye, took then. it out. And we'll have a ball in. Faye thinks he's got the free kick, does he? Yeah, well, he's not going to, is he? No. And we'll have the ball thrown back in about 60 out from Blues goal. So Taylor probably could have dived and marked it. Marcelin right back in, 10-8 to 8-9, 57 Marcelin. Thrown in, oh, Williams got it down beautifully now, ripping a chance, shepherded momentarily by Quinn. Handball back to Young, right foot this time! Have a oh, look at that! What a goal! So he can do it on both sides of the body. He's brought the crowd to life. Two goals in two minutes for Blues. Two goals in two minutes for Young. One on the left, one on the right, and they extend their margin now out to five points. Yeah, well, he's having an influence, isn't he, John? He, uh, a when you're a class... A heartwarming well, influence. Well, well, he has the class to be able to finish both those goals, and um, he's a good player for a reason, and, and he just showed that. So, uh, Blues have started well. Yes, it would be just at the doctor order. Get the scoreboard ticking over straight away, just to relieve some pressure. So, back in the centre of the ground. Game really livening up there with the first two goals to Uni Blues to start this uh, third term. Just uh, what the uh, the doctor ordered, so to speak, to get them back into this contest. Uh, Collegians this time get the scrappy, scrambly kick up towards half forward there. Running on it there was Dixon. He couldn't really get a hand. He did a bit of uh, head between the legs of his opponent. Couldn't get out there. The umpire did uh, the right thing by not pinging that as a free kick as Gapen then with the high ball up towards uh, centre half forward over the back there. Running onto it there. Faye couldn't take the mark. Probably dropped what he may have taken. Ball off boot according to Zimbax but the boundary umpire would have none of that. And he's going to throw the ball in beneath our commentary position. It's right forward pocket. Kicking up towards the Centre and Yacht Club end of the ground. Third quarter thanks to Payton, Caden Property Group. The nice high restart. It sort of just holds up a little bit in the breeze. Gapen got it down, but Apted uh, got the kick out there for Collegians, but he's kicked it to his opponent there. So he could almost kick this if he wanted to. Flanagan. Flanagan goes in short, looks for his teammate. Thumped away there. This time an opportunity there for Dixon. Got on the end of it. Apted, he dropped to what he perhaps should have held on to. Then wrapped up his opponent in a tackle. Collegians play down. I'm not sure what happened. Hugh yeah. Johnson, that is. And he's writhing Player in down. pain. He is in pain. I think he just got something sting across his face. But I don't know what happened. Just, uh, he just won't get up. Not happy with the uh, proceedings there. In the meantime, Rippon went up in the ruck for Uni Blues. Actually beat Penberthy on that occasion. The umpire said there's a free kick for a throw. And Sam Hibbins will take the relief in free kick. We're in a bit of trouble. They've is it, if it's Johnson, we yeah. ticked over four minutes in this third term. Ball now out of bounds. And we'll just uh, have a look at that player again, uh, John. Just tell us. 
That's Hugh. Yep. It's a young John's Hugh Johnson. Yeah. Just uh, holding onto his guts, you'd say, or his stomach around his stomach region. But he's managed to get up and he's trotting off the ground. So it looks like he'll be uh, okay. So back in play here. Penbithy got the tap down. Gapen, he got dispossessed, but Sam Hibbins, he did some good hard work. The spinning kick off the side of the boot. Lovely mark taken there by Piers Flanagan. He's been good this afternoon, Flanagan. The left footer looking for his teammate over the back there. Harper. Couldn't get onto it there, Kieran Harper. It was being held the whole way. Oh, I reckon he might have had hold of the Khaleesi. Mind you, just quietly. it was a bit of a wrestling move. I'm with you, John. Yes. <laughs> It was a bit like Dangerfield on Friday night. Just uh, had, had a hold of the opponent who was behind him. So the field up by putting the ball back in the back in the play. Muggerman well, in there. Mitchie had the kick out there for Collegians with the high ball. But again, Flanagan, a rock of Travolta across half-back, takes the mark at centre wing. So this time loose. Taylor leads the centre half. It's forward he goes. Back. He it's had to stop and drop. He had it fisted away there by Jenkinson. Now Will Johnson, a high up and under kick. He got it out of danger, but he'll come Summers. straight back. Summers takes the mark and wants to play on straight away. He could just about kick it from there. He goes for it. He goes all of the way, baiting down Gape. And oh, a bounce oh. through. Oh, he got touched. And it was touched. <laughs> Only just touched. He's got a finger now. Yeah. To it. <laughs> Gee, we didn't see anything touched from here, but it obviously was, and a minor score. Fair old block on uh, Gapen then in his effort to get to the ball. So uh, Will Johnson to kick the ball back in. They're peppering away here. Uni Blues down at the Yacht Club end. He kicks it outside. Defensive 50. Cassidy on the end of a handball. Beach Road side of the ground. He goes with an underground kick. Getting there first. Dale Hinkley along the ground and hit bootlaces. It goes over. And on centre wing Beach Road side will have a ball in. 46 playing 40. Blues have the lead. They've arrested it back. After trailing slightly at half time. Two goals to Ross Young so far in the term. Thrown back in. Up they go. Penberthy fists it clear. Out the back. Oh, down the side was Townley. He trapped it okay. Good tackle laid on there Great by tackle. Singleton. High kick there by Tardiff. Got some distance. They wait underneath it. Fist away by Hilton. A ball found the ground. Now Flanagan. High up and under kick. Singleton underneath it. But Cassidy called him out. Cassidy takes the mark. Centre wing out of side of the ground for Collegians. Kicking into the strong breeze. He's looking for a runner to go past. No one does that. He kicks it long as he can. Goes to Hilda, but Flanagan again. Takes about his fourth mark for the quarter. He goes back. He's the rock of Gibraltar. Down there at the moment in defence. He goes short to Rippon. And the Blues are going to work it out of defence. So Rippon goes across the field of play. Ball bouncing oh. and over the boundary line and out of bounds. Uh, got away from I his teammate in there. Like Dale Hinkley. Down the guts there from yep. Marshall Rippon rather than the expansive wide one. Oh, look, if the kick hits, it's a different story because the second phase goes inside 50. But um, I, yeah. I, I mean, I had the binoculars on, so I couldn't see the open field of play. But. So back in uh, play now, doing some good running there was Rippon. Got the handball over to his Townley. teammate in Hinkley. Townley. Up towards half forward there, Taylor. Run it, leading in the race for the football. So McMahon goes underground, then on to Muggerman. Muggerman on the right boot, ball bouncing off to the right, through for one behind. That is uh, Jeremy Muggerman's first score for the afternoon. They move up to 7 5 47, now seven points in front of Collegians who are 6 4 40. We've just ticked over nine minutes in the third term. Thanks to Caden Property Group and that scoreboard, thanks to Hydric and Stroud. So Mishy puts it under the arm and goes for a run out of defence. He has a bounce. He had a look at uh, Russo inside. He goes back outside now to uh, Mishy again, who goes towards half forward with a kick. No one can take the mark. Hilton there. Broke a tackle. Gets around. Left foot kick. Not a real confident one, but it worked wow. okay because Singleton's marked it. I'll tell you what, that was a spectacular bit of play from Collegians. Started with the experience, Johnson at fullback playing on, kick flat and hard around the line, and Minchie involved twice there. Yeah. Great play, kept possession the whole way, great strength there by Courtney Hilton out wide, and uh, stood on his feet, kicked him in the middle of the ground where we currently have the ball in the hands of Singleton. Singleton. He's kicked uh, one today to the Yacht Club end, this time deliberate approach to the social club end of the ground, it goes all of the way! He's put it through. So Singleton kicks his second. 
Collegians kick their seventh. They go on a 7 4 46. Uni Blue 7 5 47. We've gone just on nine minutes in this third term. And as you mentioned, John, it was a great bit of play by Will Johnson then to kick to himself and play on, get another five, really or, well executed kick five or ten metres. Yeah, but great work by Pemberthy just to protect the space in front to control that ball to ground and and then Mitchie allowing Mitchie to attack it. Great team goal, but run and carry. That great run and carry. individual talents shown as well. In Prem C, uh, Caulfield Gumerian's up by 11 points in the last quarter, so we'll keep our eyes on that one as this time Uni Blues get the kick out of... Uh, the restart back in the centre uh, at the half forward line. Johnson, the younger one there, back on the ground. Got the kick clear in front of Dixon, who sees the football over the boundary line and out of bounds. Looks like Dixon's playing on Ross Young at the moment. Right. Well, he's got his hands full there, hasn't he, Cam? He's been a star, Ross Young. Yeah. Football out of side of the ground. It's on the Beach Road side of the ground. Back into play there from the boundary round pie. Penbithy got both hands to it. Got down to Kenny Ong. Ong to Russo. Russo back to Ong. Some good handball there. And this time Eptid off one step up towards uh, the centre of the ground. Help look like he got dragged to the ground by foot. Now Pai had none of it. And this time they're able to clear Uni Blues. Now up towards half forward. Alistair Fay runs onto it. He was able to get the ball out towards Zimbax. His teammate was able to get the kick clear on that occasion through Corey Cassidy. At the back, Uni Gapen. Blues able to get the ball over the top, and Gapen takes the mark. The handball's over oh. the top. James has slipped over, and it goes through for one rush behind. <laughs> Gapen did the right thing, but uh, James just lost his footing. So, 7 6 48, Uni Blues, 6 4 40. Collegian. Gee, it's, not, it's not that wet out there, is it? Gee, where's wow. what a chance going begging there for them? Anyway, Hibbins has it. He goes to Waterman. He marks it half back. So let off there for Collegians. Gapen could have kicked it easily himself. He was selfish enough to give it off, and it didn't work. They go to centre wing. Do Collegians trapping it oh. there was Ferguson? High tackle laid on him. He doesn't waste any time. Played on straight away. Goes to centre half forward. Holding going on there. Drop there. He nearly won the footy. Singled in support. But oh. well done, defensive Blues. They work it out somehow uh, with a handball. handball. Now Ferguson ended up with it. He then lost it. Ball on the deck. Umpire says, give it to me. I'll ball it up. Ferguson was after his second uh, free kick there. He just went down and low with his head. But Panic stations. Yes, indeed. Looked yeah. very dangerous down yeah. there. About to be thrown in the air. Beach Road side. Half forward flank there for Uni Blues. Fished away towards the boundary line. Russo beats Young to the footy. Handball back to Dixon. Inside 50 he goes in short. Bad option. Lappin chips in and takes the mark. Single and nowhere to be seen. Lappin same side of the ground. Umpire's blown the whistle. Says you've got to go behind the mark. Yep, and he'll reason. reload and redo it again. So 48 playing 46. Blues have the lead. They're kicking with this six goal breeze. In this third term, you would still imagine it's that far. That far. Lappin goes short with a kick. Oh, James again fell over, couldn't hold on to it. Gapen there in support, got a handball. On read it beautifully, but then he gave it up to Dale Hinckley. Handball he gave up to Dixon. Collegians have it again. They go back towards the pocket, and Crofton's come out and taken the mark. Both sides, John, have, um, have fallen over at crucial times. And you saw James then. It was a tough mark, low to the ground. Was he better off keeping feet, trying to take it on the half volley, just to yeah. keep control of the ball and, and if anything, turn, turn boundary side. But um, Collegians have done the same thing on a couple of occasions. So whoever can keep their feet just in those non-contested situations will, will bode well for them. So to put Collegians back in front, Singleton kicked their last goal at this end. His Croft trying to do the same thing. Goes right across the face. The Gibbons is there. Out was it the in full. or was out it out? Full. Out the full. It was out on the full. Resultant free kick there to so go to. Will Cunningham. Cunningham yeah. takes the free kick across the face and finds Townley. Deep in the left back pocket. Probably just setting the mark again. Perhaps a little pedantic. Townley looking for options further afield, just goes long, looking for Taylor, just stretched up unopposed to take the mark for Uni Blues. They now play on by foot, finding uh, Gapen, yeah. McMahon I should say. Now up towards half forward, over the back there, Faye is able to take the mark, pretty much unopposed in defence for Collegians. He goes in the, on the left boot, 
with the short pass find Singleton. Well, he struggled to get into it. Kieran Harper, isn't he? Again, he's just, uh, just in the wrong spots. Singleton's short pass further afield. Finds Dixon. So, Kledge is just slowing play down for a moment and then back going sideways and backwards again, finding Singleton. So, he's deep in his defensive half. The back pocket. Now kicking the ball outside the defensive 50. Williams oh. reached up. He should have really held that mark. He had a good piece on it, but couldn't hold onto it. Into a pack there. Hibbins is in there. He got the handball out. Couldn't get it clear. Riley McMahon then got tackled. What's he paid there? Oh, Surely that's like, no, he it, dumped him into the ground. He's pinged him for holding the ball. Well, yeah, it was a bit messy, but anyway, in the end... Just look, there's a sort of a slight air of resignation about the Blues at the moment. Cameron's got the free kick. So Fraser Cameron at half-back for Collegians goes with the high up and under kick. Pretty ordinary. It's close to the boundary line. Hibbins again. Collegians have had a really great seven minutes now. Hibbins taken, has taken the mark in the a uh, good contested situation. Individual quality of their players is, is really coming to the fore. Each time a player from Collegians goes at the ball, they're so doing what you'd hope. Between halfback and wing, kicking up underneath the scoreboard. Ball thumped over the boundary line and out of bounds. That is the Hydric and Struggle scoreboard in the third term, showing uh, University Blues 7 6 48, leading Collegians 7 4 46. We've ticked over 15 and a half minutes in this third term, thanks to Caden Property Group. So silly, brilliant sunshine down to the Trevor Barker Oval. Dixon, he rode a tackle, he got rid of the footy. Lockie Ferguson got underneath, he got a handball out. Somehow he found his teammate there, he missed you, he got it back. Ferguson goes for a shot into goal, it goes across. Oh, hit him on the head. through his hands, it goes to Townley. He dropped it, he was upended. Now the ball comes to Summers, who gave it to Flanagan, and the Blues work it out of danger. Fished away by James at the boundary line. Singleton will get there first. Had uh, Johnson in support. Hugh got a handball. Didn't help his cause. Mishy, he dropped it or something no, went no. on there. Mark James was uh, just taken off the ball there. So James ends up with a free kick. He goes into the middle of the ground. Zimbach sets himself oh. on. He ran into his own man. Now they collide. Picks it a handball. Fire Black kick. Play, High up and under kick. It'll bounce over everybody's head. No. It goes towards the boundary line. Russo gets there first. Head underneath. Cunningham dispossessed him. Ball on the deck. Pick up there by Cameron. He gave it a young. Handball to Weed. Eakin from 60. Just line it up. He goes short. Bad kick. And Faye chips in, takes the mark. Wasted no time, he goes out wider here. Fraser Cameron takes the mark in the last line of defence for Collegians. He goes to centre half back. He found out, uh, found Seb Evans, who goes short with the kick into the middle. Oh, they worked okay to Hilton. They work it up to the ground. He goes out wider here to Tardif, and he takes the mark, centre wing out of side. It's a good call, Simon, with uh, Tardif now going in short, just keeping uh, possession of the football for a few moments. Just on top here, Collegians. They've played really good football for 10 minutes now, and the quality of their players and their skill is on show here. And they just slowed it down there, but now they uh, need to do something. As Fraser Cameron's kick, uh, Cameron's kick was a high up and under beneath the scoreboard. James was in there for Uni Blues, couldn't take it. Out the back there, Townley got the scrambly kick, bouncing up towards uh, centre wing. Jenkinson. Then banged it back there for Collegians. Ball bouncing up towards half forward. But they've got all the numbers across half back Uni Blues and bring the ball back in towards the centre of the ground. Riley McMahon there trailing his opponent, uh, Faye, in uh, the race for the football. He gets it towards uh, Corey well Caston. There, the umpires paid him no, a free kick. No, he did kick. very well, McMahon. He gave away the free kick. Yeah, to Faye. And, and so high. therefore hold, held up the post. That's a, a free up. But well done disposal. by Faye on the one out situation. Terrific uh, contest this afternoon. So Fay goes back to the true fullback position and finds Will Johnson. So J Johnson just weighing up some options. He's got some uh, space to run. And then with a low darting kick, got some back good kick. distance there. That was a great kick in the conditions. Ball off hands in, and over the boundary line and out of bounds. Out of the danger zone for Collegians momentarily as we now tick up uh, towards 19 minutes in this third term. Thanks to Caden Property Group. We've got a terrific battle down here at the Trevor Barker Ovals. The boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Ball, again, not good enough. Field umpire is going to say, no, you've got to throw that in again. <laughs> the boundary umpire is giving it the old... <laughs> Darn it. I think he just needs to step inside the field of play here, John. Yes. He's just stepped inside more. a couple of metres. Yeah, go another metre, son. 
that's it. I think this should do the job. I don't know why the rack makes so far back. He's not going to get it there. Yes, well, he throws it high. This time it does reach the butt rock, but it goes over the back. So from the sublime, that was ridiculous. Johnson's in there in the middle of the ground. Collegians through uh, Dixon. Dixon. He was fantastic there on that occasion. Got it towards Trotter. Up towards half forward. But a relieving mark taken back there by Hinckley on this occasion, Dale, for Uni Blues. But his ball's oh, turned over, and Courtney Hilton swings around looking for his teammate further afield. That was Singleton. He got outpointed on that occasion. Vickers Willis was able to get it towards the boundary line, and the umpire said, throw it in amidst the call from the supporters for the free kick. We're now two points the difference as we tick over 20 minutes in the third term. Just controlling the, the tempo of the game at the moment, Collegians, even when they're uh, kicking into the breeze, they're just controlling the ball, lowering the eyes. Happy to kick long down the line when they need to. So down at Collegians, in in front of the tuck shop there. Summers ended up with it. Now we lost it, ball on the deck. Going in underneath was Zong. He got it towards the boundary line, away from Batterillo. He's still going, Kenny. He held on to it. He went over the line, out of play. We'll have a ball in. 7-6-48, the Blues. 7-4-46, Collegians. Only two points to the margin. See, We've just gone on 20 minutes. They're just growing with this with this period of neutral play. Neutral play, in fact, that they're dominating, not, on, not with scoreboard uh, pressure, but just possession of the ball. Penberthy won it out of the ruck. He goes along the ground to Tardiff, held onto there by Townley. Townley goes in again. Tardiff brings him to the ground. They have a duel. The umpire says, give it to me. I'll ball it up. 50 out from Collegians' goal. Beach Road side of the ground. Into the breeze in this third term for Collegians. The Blues have the breeze, and they lead the game by two points. Thrown in the air again, Summers. He was dispossessed, oh. George Cameron, same. Now Muggerman tried to get it out, he did. Townley a handball along the ground to Summers. Picked it up, goes back inside. Comes out with a kick, beach road side of the ground. Out of bounds on the full. Oh, deliberate. No, they're all appealing. And it'll be thrown he's back it. in. He's paid it, has he? How can it be oh, well, deliberate when... Besides kick with the wind. I don't know, but anyway. Kick around his body. That's what he's done, and Seb Evans ends up with the free kick. May as well have gone out of bounds on the full anyway. He goes towards half forward. Croft in front, can't mark. Waterman rode it well, read it well. He goes with a kick to the pocket. Bounces over Vickers Willis' head. He ends up with the footy though. He trapped it beautifully. Handball Clayton Hickley. Handball along the ground back to him. Oh. It doesn't go far. He goes into the middle to Dale Hickley. Bouncing ball. Chance here for Hugh Johnson. He goes with a kick around the body. Up towards half forward. Up by blowing the whistle. Again. Flanagan. He's been fantastic we'll get this a free third kick. quarter. Um, he's been sensational this quarter. Piers Flanagan. So yeah. Takes the resultant free kick. In fact, takes the handball. So they're able to duck around now. Uni Blues through the middle of the ground, up towards half forward. Ball thumped away there by Johnson on that occasion. A chaos ball there. Ross Young just lost his feet momentarily. Got the handball back towards Pete Summers. Summers looking for options. He had his smothered. kick smothered. Well and that was there, good work there. Corey Cassidy got the ball out there to Dixon, who gets it back from Apted, who gave it back to Dixon, back to Apted. Apted on the right boot up towards uh, centre wing, half forward, ball bouncing towards the boundary line. Townley's leading in the race for the football. Couldn't uh, smother his kick, Hilton, on that occasion, and Uni Blues ball, bring the ball back in towards the centre oh. corridor. Marshall Rippon goes with the high ball. It's dangerous here on this yeah. occasion, but he did well to butter up there on that occasion to Hinkley, and they are able to get it up towards now half forward. Mark James uh, over his head, bouncing over Gappen. Gappen. Back there, uh, Johnson and James. James taken with the football by Faye over the boundary line and out of bounds. It's fast, it's frenetic. It's good finals football down here at uh, Sandringham with the scores very close here. Two points of difference, 7-6-48. University Blues, 7-4-46 Collegians as we tick towards time on 24 minutes gone, Simon. Penberthy got it down, George Cameron. Oh, he was held on to just slightly by Waterman and he's given it away. And just a quick around the grounds, Caulfield Grammarians, 13 11 89, Marcelin 9 10 60. Run away from them. So 25 point lead. If that hasn't finished, it'd be very close to it. So George Cameron has the footy here for Blues. They lead by two points. Kicking with the breeze in his back. Grandstand side of the ground, yacht club end of the ground he goes. First half chance they've had for a long time. It's so here he gets comes. To play. To stretch the margin, he puts it on its way, and he's missed. 
And only a minor score, three points to the margin. Dying stages of the third term. Down here at Trevor Barker. Who wants to go to next week? It's a real arm wrestle at the moment. You couldn't pick a winner from here. It's too tight. As we await Will Johnson to kick the ball back in. He's going to favour the Beach Road side of the ground and he kept it low into the breeze. He got it outside. Defensive 50. It came back inside. Dixon there. A handball over the top to Russell who found on. Who goes to Wapted who's had a brilliant game today. A kick around up towards centre wing. Flanagan there. Hilton over the top of him. It goes out of bounds on the full resultant free kick to go to Flanagan. Hilton was almost over, over the fence. I'll tell you what, he's going a few metres on the mark. No, he's been called back. He was almost over the fence by the time he'd finished contesting for that football, but they've come in short and found Hinkley on that occasion. That's Clayton. He swings around on the right boot. Deep into attack there. Centre half forward. He's being held hard, there. Though. He's being held. It's got to be a free kick. Are they playing it on? They are. And the goal kicked in the end by Paddy Hayes. But the free kick had to go to Harper, though. They dragged him to the ground there, John. I think that was fair oh, it was enough. More, no, it was more than just saw his jumper being yeah. stretched. That, uh, the stretch of the jumper always does it. So that's Paddy Hayes' first goal for the afternoon. And on the uh, Hydric and Struggle scoreboard, they now move up to 8 7 leading Collegian 7 4 46. So nine points the difference. We've now ticked over 26 minutes in this third term, thanks to Caden Property Group. Well, narrow, narrow lead, <laughs> it's yeah. something. But Low uh, scoring quarter, three goals to one only in this term, favouring the Blues. Middle again, George Cameron overruns it, Flanagan's had a great quarter, handball long, picked it up, then he lost it to Townley. Blues go forward again, beautiful kick down the centre half, forward up they go, Harper. Fished away there from Faye, found Hilton. Handball towards the boundary line. Faye goes in after it again. Beaten in the footy there by uh, by Quinn. Around the body, he goes out of bounds on the full. But again, just the percentages. <laughs> Courtney Hilton under extreme pressure then, but got his head up, got his hands out and thumped it out wide, out of harm's way, and gave his, his own teammates a chance to run at it. So Blues lead 55, Collegians 46. They're a the long foot. way from home, Collegians. Kicked it back in by Dixon towards the boundary line, out of side of the ground, outside defensive 50. Is that a good quarter, Dixon? In. Yeah, well, he's going anywhere at Young goes. So it's a really interesting battle. Young probably had the upper hand in the first part of this quarter, but Dixon's won important ball in, in the latter part. 52 out from a Blues goal, down towards George Cameron. He trapped it okay, ball. goes in after it again and again. He can't win it out for his team, though. Now it is a loose foot. He trotted there for Collegian. Stood his ground. Handball inside from Batarillo. Bouncing ball. Oh, they're just waiting for it. Abtet win at the footy. High up and under kick. Williams underneath it. Fished away by Tardiff. Ball into the deck. And Will goes in after it again. Well in there by Muggerman, but he got it out. Somehow a kick away there by Russo. Up towards centre wing. And the mark has been taken. Summers. Summers. And uh, Summers, Summers has got it on centre wing out of side. So Pete Summers just goes bang with the long ball. Deep into attack there. Offhand thumped through and eventually rushed for one behind to University Blues. who move up to 8-8-56. Brothers and uh, Collegian 7-4-46. Ten points the difference. We now uh, ticked over hey. 28 minutes in this third term. Back into play. Here's Flanagan. Well, from a standing start, he goes, but he misses everything. Boy. Should have done better there. Under pressure, though, John. Under pressure. He banged it on the boot quick. Yeah. Caulfield Grammarians are home, John. 14 12 96. Marceline 9 10 64. That's that. 23 gone in this third term. Kicked back in by Collegians. Dixon roved it well. Rode a high tackle. Got the handball out. Away goes Fraser Cameron. Around the body towards centre wing he goes. Dropped in short. Vickers Willis was there. He in fell the over, did he? Was but it? he's been paid in the back. And Vickers Willis takes the free kick. Handball back inside to Flanagan. But the siren sounds. And that ends a low scoring third quarter. Collegians, our University Blues go in with an eight, a 10 point lead, 8 8 56 to Collegian 7 4 46. A low scoring third quarter. We'll be back with all the information on what the boys saw in that third term. Goal kickers and better players after this. Caden Property Group is one of the most important quarter of the year for both of these sides down here today. Who wants to go on and meet 
St Kevin's down here next Sunday afternoon in a grand final. There's nothing in this game. You couldn't pick a winner from here. But the advantage the Collegians have is that they're going with the breeze in this final term. Ball thrown in the air. We're underway. Goes down to Hilton. Tried to win it out with a short kick, but he couldn't get there. Now Hibbins puts his body in. He goes in after it. Then he's ended up on the deck somehow. Hilton, he goes towards half foot. Oh, Croft! Oh, he rode the pack and he took it. Second grab. Oh, what a it beauty. Was the Harry Lime. It was the third in line, but he's brought it down at the second attempt. Hilton's in the arms of the train as he went down in that scrimmage just moments ago, but Croft, what a start to the quarter for Collegians this will be. If he can slot it to the Yacht Club end of the ground, he's directly in front. He's kicked. No, he hasn't troubled the scorers today. He had an opportunity earlier. Puts this one on its way. They stand and have a look, but he's missed it to the right. Nine points the margin. 56 playing 47. And within the first minute of this final term, Croft for Collegians has had a shot in the goal. Getting plenty of advice down there, Pierce. From the <laughs> so Flanagan brings the ball in long, out of sight of the ground for University Blues. Gapen uh, couldn't get onto it. Running on it there was Sir Hilton. Couldn't gee, keep a handle on it. Handball back. And Lockie Ferguson on the left boots, put it in towards the goal. And he snapped it from nowhere. The opportunist goal, and he's always dangerous. He's a great player to watch when he kicks goals like that. Lockie Ferguson's first score for the afternoon is four points, and that's a big one on the board there for Collegians. On the uh, Deloitte scoreboard, they move up to 8-5-53, trailing uh, University Blues by just three points now, 8-8-56. That's thanks to William Buck. We've only just gone two minutes, boys, and uh, the game has tightened up. I've got one thing to say about that, Cam. <laughs> What's that, John? Run straight lines at the ball. <laughs> well, it was a great finish by <laughs> Great finish by Ferguson, Ferguson. Yeah, it was. Absolutely, here's Hibbins out of the middle again Collegians go forward, Croft there Oh, he went one hand, it got down to Wong Ong. Ong goes in towards goal Will it be shepherded through, no Taylor Fished away there from Singleton Goes to the boundary line And will have a ball in And the Blues defence are under enormous yeah, pressure I think just got to remember the, Just look at the scoreboard They are in front they're in the game. They can't just sort of think. They've just got to defend. They've got to score. They've got to play good, solid footing and have a go. Thrown in. Croft won that one down. Ferguson again, same spot. He handballed it along the ground. It goes towards goal. It goes across the face of my No score. We'll have a ball in. So all of the attacking done by Collegians. We've gone just on three minutes in this final term. But they still trail by three points. Blues still have the lead. Thrown back in again. Holds up in the breeze. It drops short. Williams got a hand onto it. Hilton there. Oh, he trapped it, then lost it. Ferguson again. Handball underground. Hilton there. Now a handball came up there from Flanagan. He got it off to Dale Henley. He goes out wide. It bounces in front of Trotter. He sees it over and will have a ball in. Oh, some grim defending there <laughs> for University Blues. John's right there uh, in front of the scoreboard. And, uh, so much for my, the wind dying. The trees are bending in half more than they have all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it's getting a bit cool down here too, John. As the boundary up by... It's straight towards the goals. Yes. <laughs> it's moved about 10 Brilliant handball along. Uh, with the breezes. Uh, Hilton then swings around on the right boot. Looking for oh. Hibbins, who stretches up. He didn't take the mark on the first occasion, but he's flipped around on the Cameron. left boot. Has found Cameron. That's Fraser Cameron, who's kicked two goals this afternoon. He's uh, deep in the forward pocket, really. In this, uh, you'd think in this day and age, you could just hook this around the corner. Well, we saw Quinn kick one from the exact same spot in the first term today. So Fraser Cameron's kicked two goals this afternoon. He's kicked one in the second and one in the third. And now he's kicked three. He's kicked one in the last. So uh, three goals. Sorry. Yeah, three goals for Fraser Cameron. And they now hit the front. 9-5. 59 uh, Collegians, they lead University Blues, 8 56 that's on the Deloitte scoreboard, and thanks to William Buck, we've just gone over five minutes. Well, clever young player, Fraser Cameron. He's a really good player, yeah, yeah he is. He's, uh, he's certainly made his mark today, as he did last week. So that wind is real gale, gale force out in the middle now, you'd imagine. It's a massive uh, incentive there for Collegians, but Young puts it on the boot for Blues. They go forward. No one can control it. Zimbarks 
kicks the ball back towards half forward here for Collegians. Bounces away from Singleton and Vickers Willis. Backed up there by Townley. Close to the boundary line. It'll be a dead eater here. Not sure. Mark, will it be paid to mug of it? I think it is. And he takes it. Boundary umpire was absolutely nowhere near that. Mug of it. Ends up with the footy, goes long with the kick. Up they go, James sets himself, fished away, found Rippon. Left foot kick, goes towards half forward. Ball hits the deck, Young's there. Can't pick it up, Harper did though. Now he looks for a handball. It was too late, it was telegraphed. And the free kick will go up Ted's way for Collegians. He's been one of the best players on the ground today, by far. Abtet goes long to centre wing. Williams up, takes the mark for Blues and half back. He'll want to stay on the base side of the ground here. He won't want to give up too much ground. So he looks in that direction. Oh, he just keeps it in short. A beautiful kick. He hit Quinn on the chest on centre wing on the base side of the ground. He looks up the ground further. A kick, a wobbly one. It bound, uh, nearly bounced away from James and hit his bootlaces. Pick up there by Trutter. He's brought over the line there by Mugovan and will have a ball in out of side of the ground. Coming up towards seven minutes in this final term. Thanks to William Buck. We've got the tight one. Three points in favour of Collegians with the uh, University Blues trying to attack towards the northern end of the ground. Marshall Rippon goes in with a big tackle. On. The, the Blues really need to strike a goal at that end of the ground for their, yeah. for their own belief. I think, you know, they, they haven't, haven't managed to get one up there. Take it one. On, uh, Dixon Magovan's kick was smothered from the re resultant restart. Eads in there. So too is uh, Ross Young. He was taken in a hot headlock by Courtney Hilton. So that's got to be a free kick. And Young, who kicked two magnificent goals in the third term, he's going to need to li lift his team here. So he goes in short, looks for his teammate further Gapen. afield, Gape, and he really couldn't get a handle on it. And Dixon was in there for uh, Collegians. Wrapped up in a tackle, though. Eads in here yeah, with a free kick. It. That's oh. got to be a free kick. No, I'm with, uh, I'm with the umpire on that one. That was uh, just reckon? red hot. Yeah, there was no interest in the player trying to get rid of it. I know he was sold into trouble, but... Uh, I wouldn't have minded if he balled it up then. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm happy for... Uh, anyway, the umpire rules the day, and uh, so in the end... Looks like he's about 35 out, 30 out. I think so. I don't think he'll have any trouble with the distance here, John. No, he's just outside the 50-metre arc as he stands there, Johnny. He'll just run inside, not by far, 50. though. He'll kick from inside 40, I reckon, yep. He's inside 40 metres now, on the right boot. It's a beautiful kick, but it's just fading out to the right. Not going to make the distance in the end, but it's deep in attack here. An opportunity here. Oh, he's oh, it, Tom, Tom Quinn's got to get a, a free, free kick. kick. He's got to get a free be. kick. Spot on, Johnny. He uh, jumped high in the air and was taken out uh, with the legs, uh, or by the legs, and the umpire said, well, that's a free kick. You can't do that. Now, Hilton was saying the umpire tried to get his hips, but his legs got in the way. <laughs> yes. I'm well, he not... was up in the air when he grabbed it, so <laughs> he, he sure. needed to wait for him to come back That's from right. the I'm not sure Court, <laughs> Courtney's going to get too much traction in that argument. As uh, Tom Quinn, can he put one on the board? Oh, they they desperately like need... Oh, he's all over the shop with the kick. Yeah. Oh, Johnny, yes. His approach was awful in the end, and he's kicked one behind. That's his first behind for the afternoon. 1-1 one, one for the afternoon. 8 9 57 University Blues trailing Old, uh, old Collegians 9 5 59. So, nine minutes gone in the final term, and Will Johnson have a look at that for a roost. Out towards the scoreboard side of the ground, he got magnificent distance. Oh, Cunningham and attack of the fumbles goes after it again. He paddled it along in front of him, got it up there to Mugavan, who reached out a handball to Summers. He then goes to ground, ball on the deck. Pick up there by Dixon for Collegians. Handball to Wong in front of the scoreboard. He goes towards uh, Singleton and Vickers Willis. They see it over the line at half forward. Beach Road side will have a ball in. 59 playing 57. Collegians have the lead. Collegians have the breeze. Well, he's lifted their rating a bit, Cam, or is it uh, Collegians has dropped off? No, no, I think the Blues have definitely lifted. Flung in there by the boundary umpire. It fell short. Williams got a hand onto it. Now Mugovan gets there first. Puts the ball onto a boot. Goes into the middle of the ground. It bounces away from everybody. Fay goes in. He was upended. Going in Johnson. He puts his head over the footy but lost it. James a handball here to Harper. He's held up. Umpire says, give it to me. I'll ball it up. Pressure's enormous on both sides here now. 
Nothing they know. Today. They know that they can go into next week with a win today. There's only two points the margin. Collegians have the lead. It's a Blues end. Penberthy a short kick. They try it again. Now they go in as they go in after it. Cassidy there. He's brought to ground by Ede. And again, the umpire says, give it to me, I'll ball it up. Around the grounds, Premier C final scores. Caulfield Grameens, 18-15, hey. 23 have uh, smashed Marsland. 9-10-64 by 59 points. And in Division 2, Brown hey. Assumption, 10-11-71 have defeated West Brunswick, 10, uh, sorry, 6-10-46 by 25. Ede had a go into goal, but Will Johnson takes the mark. He's a booming kick. He'll just want to put it on the boot and get it out of the danger zone as long as he possibly can. Didn't go that far. Hibbins underneath. Palmed it to ground away from Dale Hickley. Waterman ran onto it. He put it onto the boot. He goes towards Fraser Cameron. Oh, there we go. Fished away by uh, Flanagan. Now Russo. Russo can go into goal. It's a wobbly kick. Oh, what a mark. And Taylor <laughs> has taken the mark in the last line of defence. So Jeremy Taylor's taken a fantastic mark in defence. Found his teammate there in Pete Summers, who's kicked down the... He gets a free kick down the field after the disposal. So Batterillo. He needs to get back off his mark, he's, Batterillo. He, he does. Yeah, he's get back, son. He's wasting time, lad. Collisions to get back now. He's wasting time. Spot on, Johnny. So Batterillo oh. then goes in short and finds uh, Hinkley. On that occasion, that's uh, Clayton Hinkley. Looking for options further afield. Just taking too much time. He goes in short, out of sight of the ground, and finds Rippin. Uh, Rippin. Marshall Rippon again goes sideways. Yeah, Young. with an opportunity through for Young. Ross Young. Deep into attack there. Ball bouncing over the back of the pack there. Deep in the forward lane. Hooked around the corner. Ugh. And across the face towards the boundary line. An opportunity for University Blues. They keep the ball in the field of play, but thumped away there. Jenkinson doing some good work, but Young was back in there with Paddy Hayes. Did well, uh, Pat Hayes then to just smother that handball. The field umpire said to the boundary umpire, you can throw the ball back in. We've now ticked up to 10 minutes in the final term, thanks to William Buck and the Deloitte scoreboard showing that Collegians are in front by two points. Two points the margin, Beach Road side of the ground, forward pocket, Paddy Hayes got it down. Oh, it's now up. Hibbins tries to win it out, he can't, he's brought to ground, they gang tackle him. The umpire says, give it to me, I'll ball it up. It's a very hard, it Ooh. is very hard for the umpires in on those, <laughs> on, on ground <laughs> tackles and stuff. Are yeah. their hands free? Did they get a chance? Thrown in the air, Singleton to go for Collegians. He went all his lonesome. He got it down, but now a chance there oh, for the Gaiman. line, Dixon. It goes yeah. towards the goal, but now Johnson has it. He works it out for Collegians. He oh, goes towards halfback. Shocker. A shocking kick off the boot, yeah. and he goes out of play and will have a free kick. Blue's doing well here, just yeah. putting the heat in the yeah. game. And he getting just wonder if it. Collegians looking a bit tired. So Dale Hinkley has the footy. Four Blues. He's a long way from home into the breeze. So uh, Bay Row, Bay side of the ground. Social club in there going. Dale goes as long as he can. They set themselves on. Oh, good mark. go up together. Great mark. Is that Hibbins? Hibbins has taken What a great it. mark. And he yep. marks in the last line of defence down at the social club end into the breeze. So with the breeze in his back. <laughs> I just saw his old man behind. In Hibbins. the crowd with a big smile on his face. Goes to half back. Fraser Cameron got involved there and gets the free kick. So Fraser Cameron here for Collegians at half back. He looks up the line. He goes in that direction. At the back is Penberthy. He'll mark oh. it. He marks it inside 50. There's an open goal for him, but he was too slow. Gee, that was a poorly contested mark for <laughs> the Blues sure there. Was. Hilton was running back into the goal square. Penberthy has decided he'll have a shot. They lead by two. He can stretch it to eight. Yacht Club into the ground, we've gone 12 minutes. Nice spot for the left footer. Hasn't troubled the scorer today, Tom Penberthy, but he's going to now. Surely won't miss a score from here. Right on the 50 metre arc, left foot kick, it wobbles to the left though, it goes across the face. And only a minor score. Three points to margin, Collegians have the lead. 60 playing, 57. We've just gone on 15 minutes in this final two. So Flanagan's going to put the ball back into play for University Blues. They need a goal to get in front. So Flanagan's left boot uh, just hooks to the outer side of the ground. Uh, the aerialists were all collegians. As uh, getting out there was Taylor at the back for uh, Uni Blues. Got it up towards James. Couldn't keep the ball in play. But Zimbax again doing some good work as John's oh, pointed out. A great player. You just feel that a goal for collegians would be enough. Mm. And again, a goal for uh, 
Any Blues just might uh, keep this. Uh, well, put him in front, but very much yes. alive. Yes. They got to defend. So this time Williams got the hand of the ball. Kenny Ong got on of it there, but Pete Summers got the handball across to uh, Hinkley. Oh, he ball. got dispossessed. That was holding the ball. A great tackle there, and Pan and uh, Waterman. Dominic Waterman uh, will take the free kick for Collegians. Deep in attack, but a lovely mark taken back there Taylor. for Uni Blues by Taylor. The umpire's going to pay 25 metres here for infringing uh, going over the mark. So Taylor will be taken into the centre of the ground. Just, just short of the centre of the ground. So it's another opportunity for Blues to, uh, to get the goal they so desperately need. So Taylor looking for options. Looks like he's going out of side of the ground, going with the low pass. Sure. It was a pretty good kick in the end. And that could be a 25-metre penalty for the player who's taken the mark. Mark James had taken the mark, unnecessarily pushed in the back. And the umpire said, yes, you can come back 25 metres. And that Puts now him. brings him inside forward 50. But he goes in short, looking oh. for his teammate, who wasn't in the right position at the end of the day. That was George Cameron. And... Uh, Mitchie's got it. Collegians were able to take the mark in defence. So three points the margin. Collegians had the lead. Mitchie goes towards centre wing. Taylor fell over. He could have marked on Hilton. He's wrapped up there. He lost the footy. Umpire's blown the whistle. That was quick. It was quick. And we'll have a ball. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ready for it. No. Quickest blow of the day. Thrown in the air again. Penberthy got a hand on the wet off straight down to McMahon. Smothered off the boot. He goes again. Well done, Trotter. Well he done. chapped it beautifully. He goes towards the boundary line. Fraser Cameron won't get there. Ball goes over. We'll have a ball in. 70 out from Collegians goal. With the breeze of this final turn, they lead by three points. They've gone just on 17 minutes in the final term. About to be thrown back in. There it goes. Rux go at it. Williams got it down. Waiting down, Clayton Hickley had found he to handball to uh, Flanagan in trouble. He had to get rid of it quickly. Hickley again over the top. James is in there. He can't arrest the footy. The umpire blows the whistle again and we'll have another ball up. 50 out from Collegian's goal. At the moment, they're into a grand final. Thrown in the air. Underground goes oh, well Dixon. Played. Got it out to Hilton. Hilton into goal. What a goal. What a magnificent goal from the boundary. A captain's goal. And you think Johnny and Cameron, that, it's not quite the sealer, but that's really uh, a dagger through the heart of University oh, Blues. That's very one. hard. They haven't kicked a goal up that end of the ground all day, so it will, it's a very, very hard task ahead of them now. But uh, more there, the, the play of Dixon to get it. Oh, he's won some crucial ball in this second half in particular and, and he set we go he was the one that gave the hands out to, to Hilton then who beautiful evasive stuff in tight and uh, great it, finish by Hilton yeah, it was indeed just floated in beautifully for the full point so back in the center of the ground Williams got the hand to it for uni blues Dixon in there again as uh, Cam Roberts pointed out he's been doing some good work around the ball this afternoon the umpire on this occasion says give it to me so he just flings the ball up in the air. Penberthy this time got the fingernail to it. Hilton again leading from the front. Storms through. Then got, gets the hack kick clear. Ferguson ran into his teammate there on that occasion. Not able to get a handle on it. Kenny Ong able to get the handball across. Corey Cassidy got the handball inside on the left boot. They have another opportunity through him. Through uh, Cameron. Fraser Cameron's kicked an absolute beauty on his left boot. That's his fourth for the afternoon, and that is just about the sealer. Collegians are running home with a full head of steam, 11 6 72. They've stretched out to a 15 point lead over University Blues, 8 9 57. What a fantastic piece of play, boys. Well, beautiful hands by Cassidy to Cameron there, and it's players like Cassidy and Dixon in the second half, and Hibbins, who, who are that skilled at giving those hands and just giving it at the right time and knowing whether they're under pressure or not. Yeah, um, they've really, they've really stepped the, and I stepped think it up. Their strength and, and ability to keep running and moving with the ball when under pressure has been uh, as far as the, the Blues midfielders who tend to get knocked off it. There's a succession of really good midfielding players. Ong, can't think of who else was in it, but they just kept going forward, strong at the ball, kept it in front of them, even though when, it, when they surrendered it, it created that goal. And Fraser Cameron's been great. Four goals, two to one behind in this last quarter in favour of Collegians. Thrown in the air again. Margovin got it out. 
somehow to Summers, who trapped it okay. Goes long with a kick down to full forward. Faye backing back with a flight. Show courageous qualities there. Took a good mark in the last line of defence. He goes to Aptek, who for me has been the best for collegians. He goes out to Will Johnson, who bangs it on the boot. Goes high in the sky, underneath it single, and he trapped it beautifully. Has a second go at it, he's on the deck. Vickers Will is all over him. They look for a free kick, they won't get it. And the umpire on centre wing will ball it up. They look dangerous forward of the ball here, John, don't they? Just yeah. with their setup. Yeah. Oh, I will. So base side of the ground, thrown in the air again. Williams on the way down, got a hand onto it. Penberthy, a bit of a high tackle there on him. Ripon found George yeah. Cameron, who goes towards the pocket. No one can take the mark. The ball hits the deck. It's on the on the ground for George, who then was brought to ground by Hilton. So you're right, John. Hilton's done some uh, solid work around the ball this afternoon. Probably hasn't had a lot of positions, but gee, he's been strong. 22 minutes gone, final term, 15 points the margin. Collegians have the breeze and have the lead. Williams got it down, Hilton again. Onto the boot, didn't go very far. Russo backing him up, ran straight into Dale Hinckley. Umpire says, give it to me, I'll ball it up. Brian Russo's improved this season. He just seems to be a better player. He seems to have got a little bit of a nip in his leg, a bit more confidence. So the ball up, restart then goes over the boundary line and out of bounds. So we've just ticked over 20 minutes in this final term. Thanks to William Buck. The Deloitte scoreboard showing in favour of Collegians a 15 point margin, 11.672 to University Blues, 8.957. Collegians probably can start to feel that they're hedging towards the grand final. And again, Dixon's on the bottom of the pack. So. Players like Dixon and Hilton have done a power of work around the ball this afternoon for Collegians. One of the reasons why they're in front is Marshall Rippon then uh, literally rips through and does some good wor working uh, up towards half forward through the agency of Hinkley. That was Clayton on the right boot, just faded out towards the left forward pocket and over the boundary line and out of bounds. You just wonder there, you know, when Marshall Ribbon was bursting through, he'd well get through one or two. Yeah. And perhaps the boot, rather than the hand, the boot, along to where you can score. So they're deep in attack. Our, our angle's not great, so I may well be wrong. On this occasion, Penberthy does the follow-up roving as well as the ruck work. He's been good this afternoon. George Cameron couldn't get through, but Sam Hibbins just bangs the ball long. Up towards Tardiff. He had the ball punched away from him. Some good work there from Lockie Ferguson, just uh, fossett the ball out towards uh, Ferguson. Waterman couldn't run onto it there. Williams did some solid work. Going back after it was Tata Ferguson. Great tackle. A great tackle on Taylor from Ferguson. And Collegians, you can just see them all rising. Great team effort from them this afternoon to be 15 points in front and within a sniff of a grand final. So just at their 50 metre arc, it's thrown in the air, kick away by Ferguson was an errant one. It goes out wider here and James gets onto it. Puts it onto his boot, goes towards the beach road side of the ground to find Hayes. He wastes no time and gets on with it. Goes long as he possibly can. It drops short, Trotter underneath it. He takes the mark. Was given a little bit of attention after it and a 25 metre penalty going Jake's way. Just run about out about how many times we've had those today. The 25s, there's been a hell of a lot of them. Quieting down and, since, uh, it's quieting down Blues, since the onslaught in the second quarter. Uni <laughs> Blue supporter there crying. She's not happy with what she's seeing out there <laughs> that, at the that, minute. That's a young tawny. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There's uh, Clayton yeah, Hinkley, a handball, but a messed one. Uh, Waterman got it to Mishy. He goes to full forward to Singleton. Fist away there by Taylor. Goes towards the boundary line and stays that's in play. Oh, kick, oh. Yeah. Ong had a go there, but a free kick going Blue's way. For a hold and Taylor will get this one and take it on the grandstand side of the ground. Cheer there for Cunningham who kicked it back to him but it hit the post. Now Taylor's got it, he goes towards half back, they set themselves. Hibbins was in front, claimed the mark, wasn't paid. Oh. Vickers Willis a handball close to the boundary line, it goes over. 72 playing 57. Collegians into a grand final next week against St Kevin's down here at Sandringham.
Just about 24 minutes gone in this final term, thanks to William Buck. Boundary umpire puts the ball back into play there. Penbethy, he's done a power of work this afternoon and good follow-up work on that occasion. Was taken to ground there. Russo got it to Ong. Bit of flipping about aerial ping-pong. Hinkley, uh, Dale got it out there. Eventually, some good work there. Clayton Hinkley got the ball across to Ross Young. Bouncing away from him. Young on the left boot, just bangs it up towards half forward. Now an opportunity there for uh, Hayes running on it. Tapped it over towards Harper. Harper's trying to duck around, do too much. And he's been pinged, I would have thought, for holding the ball. Kieran Harper's uh, really had a day that he'd probably like to forget. Yeah, uh, well, he's been he highly did last week. He just had, uh, with that, missing those three weeks through yep. the trip at St. Beads has really uh, set him back, I think. Spot on. Uh, he just hasn't been on the money this afternoon. But uh, Collegians have. And at half back, this is Russo. It's been pretty good after halftime. Looking for Penbethy or Hilton. Hilton, the captain. He's just got getting better as the match wears on. I'm sure Courtney Hilton would look forward to leading his side out next week. Just a few more minutes of this game, and they will be there. Th hitting the pack hard there was Taylor. Flanagan was in there. Got the handball out to Summers. Summers gets it in towards Hinkley. That's uh, Clayton Hinkley, centre of the ground. Has the luxury of a bounce. Then on the right boot. Looks for and finds his teammate further afield in Mark James. James swings around on the right boot, dip into attack there, but Johnson, he's been sensational this afternoon, I reckon, Will Johnson. He's been an absolute rock in defence for Collegians. Drives the ball long for the outer side of the ground. Goes towards centre wing in front of the scoreboard, 72 to 57. Collegians into a grand final next week. Not long to go in this game down here now. Bouncing ball inside. Waterman trapped it okay. Had to get around a Williams tackle, he did. Had to get around Taylor, he did. High up and under kick. Croft sets himself in from the side. Used his body but couldn't mark. Handball, Vickers Willis finds Flanagan. Goes into the middle of the ground for Uni Blues. No mark taken. They follow it up. Eat out the back. And Croft has got a fair bit of him. Umpire says, give it to me. I'll ball it up. A slow start by Collegians today. They trail by 31 at quarter time. They pegged University Blues back like they pegged D. Last Cell back last week. But I don't know if they want to give St. Kevin's a big start here next week. Thrown in the air again. Both trucks had a go at that one. Rippon board to ground by Dixon will have a ball up. Sun setting. Well, what's been another good game of footy down here today. Dixon, a smothered kick. Hilton ends up with it. Went to go. Handball out the side. Found on. 60 out from goal. Oh, he's in trouble. Didn't see Young. Didn't see Ta Harper. Now a chance here for Flanagan. Handball out the side here. On there again. Trying to ride two tackles. He did the best that he possibly could. Oh, good up there ball from, up. from David Hooper. I mean, he could have given a free kick for around the neck, but the head went down. Mm. He put his head in that direction, so I thought that was good, good adjudicating. Hilton's had a huge last quarter for the, oh, the Collegians. So in front of us, Ross Young ducks around, does some very nice work. Then the left foot, foot to kick just floated a little bit. Is that a mark? No. Yeah, it was a mark, sure. I thought it was a mark, but uh, no one seems to be interested in playing that, it. That Evans? And that yeah. is Hibbins. He's been sensational this afternoon. I guess it was got. touched off the boot. Must know, have been. Sure. Well, it floated horribly. But uh, Ryan E trying to get a handle on it for Uni Blues. As they're in the play, deep in time on Rippon. Got the ball over the top to Hinkley. He got dispossessed. Didn't uh, uh, get rid of it legally. But uh, Corey Cassidy got it across to his teammate. Up towards half forward. Cameron. Ball bounced past him. Out of side of the ground, centre wing, ball on the ground. Lindsay Aptid just gets the hack kick forward. The bit of the banana. Lockie Ferguson's there, watch out. Cunningham's trying to keep a handle on him as the ball then wrapped up. So they weren't letting, uh, Cunningham wasn't letting. They did a good job. Right? And that was Alexander Croft taken to ground by two University Blues opponents. So it's deep in time on in the forward line for Collegians. Ripped off the football, Hugh Vickers Willis couldn't get a kick clear. It's all looking very tired and scrambly and scrappy. As we've now ticked over 28 minutes in the final term, thanks to William Buck and the Deloitte scoreboard still showing in favour of Collegians by 15 points. Yeah, the rule will go for them in a minute. There's a kick by Michi towards goal. Ferguson there, now Cunningham gets away from Dixon. 
He goes towards the boundary line, fished away from Penberthy by James. A couple goes of over, contests we'll have there a ball in. Cunningham on, uh, on Ferguson. Absolutely. Late in the game, not surrendering, not, not letting a goal through. Beach Road side of the ground. So Collegians into a grand final against St Kevin's next week down here at the Trevor Barker Oval in Sandringham. And we hope for a good afternoon next week. And we'll find again another ball up take place just outside the 50 metre arc. 72 to 57. 17 shots apiece. Yet Collegians lead by 15 points. Thrown in the air. A bit of sunshine still left over there. Clayton Hinckley, a handball straight over Hayes' head. And Ted just bombs it back into the area and Ferguson takes the mark. Oh, you just have five things early for the afternoon for Blues. Just, just millimetres out a lot of the time. And uh, what should have been a ball carrying up into their forward line turned over and uh, back into the hands of uh, Ferguson, who's got better as the game has gone on. He's kicked one today so far. He's looking... At goal number two, beach right side, beach right side of the ground. He'll kick towards the grandstand side. Yeah. It's a wobbly kick. Oh, it's made it. That was a mongrel. That was a mongrel. As the siren goes, Collegians win by 21 points, and Collegians are into the 2017 grand final when they'll take on St Kevin's down here at Trevor Barker Oval next Sunday afternoon. Final score down here at Sandringham has seen Collegians run out winners. 12-6-78 over University Blues, 8-9-57. In that final term, they kicked uh, five goals, two to the University Blues, who just managed the one behind. So uh, a good victory in the end, uh, gentlemen. We won't uh, spend too many uh, minutes on air because we need to cut back to the studio shortly. But just a, a few quick observations, uh, John and Cameron, and what was uh, seemingly a very entertaining game this afternoon, a good game of footy. Oh, it was. It was, it, was a, it was a very entertaining game. And I think ultimately collegians were, were cleaner around the contest, got after the contest a bit better in and, and their hands. Um, going forward to, to release to a, to another runner was probably better than what Blues were in the end. And, and we're able to finish and, and, and had good moments throughout the day. Blues certainly had their opportunity. Um, they had some, some good players that contributed across the four quarters, but again, probably just a little bit messier than uh, what Collegians were today in these conditions. Yeah, look, I think that's right, Cam. They, uh, look, they're just, they seem to have... They seem to have had players who have just been better schooled in percentage things in the game of footy. And uh, it was just a little, the clinches, a lot of the packs around the ground, the way they were able to keep possession of it. Just smarter, smarter stuff um, with their on-ballers as opposed to the Blues on-ballers, probably with the exception of, of Ross Young. Cleaner and tidier. Created, I mean, they had less scoring shots, so only by the one in the end, but... Um, but the fact that they kicked 12-6, they, they, they had really good, easy, clean shots at goal. And, and they missed a couple of sodas as well in amongst that. So, so boys, I'll just go quickly through the goal scorers and then we'll just get some better players and some votes. So the goal scorers for the afternoon for the University Blues, they wind up with uh, two goals each to Mark James and Ross Young and then singles to Quinn, Summers, Hayes and Batterillo. And then for Collegians, well, Fraser Cameron, he's, he's kicked, in fact, two in the second and then two in the final. So he's kicked four goals for the afternoon and then two apiece to Singleton and Ferguson ended up with two, ex including that <laughs> floater on the siren and then singles to Ong, Hibbins, Hilton and Tardiff making up their 12 goals. We've got some better players and then perhaps a quick 3-2-1 just to see oh. if we can get a... Uh, well, I've just got a message from Adrian. He's not at the studio yet, so we can... Uh, oh, we can keep going. We, we can keep go, going. Go all night, John. It'll be dark by the time we finish. <laughs> well, so have you got some better players in mind? Well, I, I think with collisions, they both just... They yeah. had a lot of